What's up, guys? Welcome back to Kind of Funny's XCU in review. That's right. Every X-Men movie reviewed and ranked by us, the Kind of Funny people. I am Tim Geddes. This is Andy Cortez. That's Kevin Coelho. That's Greg Miller. And over there, Nick Scarpino. Hello. How you doing? I'm well. Greg, I noticed you're not wearing an XFL shirt. Correct. Yeah, I've run, run out. out. I, well, no, I actually had. I There's meant. More? <laughs> I meant to wear I my it. XFL jersey last week mm. and forgot then, and that was the death of it. So I was like, well, now the bit's dead. Who cares? Yeah. There've got to be other X-related clothing items. Sure, to Pornhub wear, right? and stuff. Uh, I mean, you could actually just way. wear an X-Men shirt. Like no, Wolverine that's too hard. It's too on the X-Men 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 shirt. Oh, you just, too skinny just, for it now? No, it just wore out. You're too skinny for it. At a certain point, no. What happens is, at a certain point, I get the look. Danielle just gives you the look. She's got to go. Is it? Got to go. Are we now? Ladies and, and gentlemen, gone. every week right here on <laughs> YouTube.com slash kind of funny Thursdays at 9 a.m. We review a new movie you in the asshole. X-Men <laughs> franchise. If you want to get the audio version, you can get the podcast by searching for kind of funny on reviews it. on uh, podcast services or you can watch the video on YouTube. Uh, it's fantastic. We watch the episodes. We get There's a lot of podcasts within a podcast. And at the very end, we rank them all. And it's a, it's a fun time for everybody. Joey, need a tool. Need a tool. Greg's, yeah. Greg tried to open the can for you audio listeners. He has a can of, of uh, beer. beer from uh, uh, Fresh Hops. And uh, it just didn't work. The well, little, what little it is clip. is that one kind of funny best friend sent a whole bunch of beer from parts unknown. I forget if it's Portland or if it's Connecticut or if it's Vermont or something like that. And so we have some of these, these heady toppers or whatever they're called that I thought it were dead. I thought I had drank them all. And then one day, Cool Greg put them back in the fridge, except these ones look like they were put in a dryer. <laughs> they're like on spin side. They're all dinged up and fucked up. But I'll be damned if I'm going to waste this beer. I'll be damned, damned, damned Greg. IPA. Nick I'll is now on and he tried Eat to push back. into his finger. He cut his finger. Before really? we even get into all I'm of this all happening. this goodness here. Yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah. We just had a week of E3. It well, was sure. the weekend. Sure. The last thing I wanted to do was watch X-Men Origins. Sure. Oh my Wolverine. god. And we still did it I for you. I told Greg this morning that I've never been more mad at a human being than Tim Geddes when it's 8 p.m. or some shit like that and I'm just relaxing, having a wind down oh. weekend and I get a text from Tim saying, "Hey, remember to watch X-Men Origins." I was so pissed. I'll tell you what. I was an hour into it. And I got that text, and I was still pissed. Because it was a reminder that I was actually watching the movie. <laughs> this I week we watched X-Men Origins Wolverine, released on May 1st, 2009. Now, that's a wouldn't fact know, wouldn't that know from the graphics mind. in this. Oh, my God. I swear to God, there are shots in this movie that look worse than the first no, X-Men. you're not. You don't nope. swear to God. They legitimately yeah. are. I remember like, watching this in the theater. I, X-Men, X2, even Last Stand. I don't remember being in the theater being like, that's a terrible effect. I distinctly remember being in X-Men Origins Wolverine when he went to the mirror and had his claws for the first time. Terrible. And when terrible. we put it on, I was like, it can't be as bad as I remember. And I was like, ah, oh, it's worse. Yeah, it's no, worse. It's the, the, that shot, the shot where all the kids were running uh, to Patrick Stewart's fucking ghost at the end, mm. where they're all just running, green. it's all, all green. green. It's all like, so some of this shit looked hand-drawn. It was so bad. <laughs> so much of the action in this color. movie, like they kept making conscious decisions with the editing that I think were bad calls. So much speed ramping and so much frame cutting where they like they would like go to punch and they would cut out random frames to make it look like stylized sure, and edgy sure. and faster it just looked horrible the director here he had a vision he had a style board he was going for that's true and let me tell you guys oh i got a nugget for you directed by gavin hood uh mm -hmm. nothing of consequence gavin later Free goes Brother. on get later goes on to do ender's game okay um but prior to the film's release and remember everyone we're talking about x-men origins wolverine here right yeah. He goes, uh, Gavin talked about the political undertones of the new Wolverine movie. Any movie that's simply about good versus evil is, in my view, putting out into the world and certainly into a mass audience and young audience's mind a rather dangerous philosophy, which is that there is good and evil in the simplistic and easily defined way. I think that for the last eight years, we've had that philosophy very much prevalent in the Bush administration, that if you're on the side of good, at least as you perceive it, then you can do no evil. That's what's so great about this character or about this movie for me and why I wanted to do it. This is a guy who recognizes his own capacity for evil, and I think that's exciting in a sort of popular culture kind of way. After all, the most famous line from Wolverine in the comics is, I am the best there is at what I do, but, and, but what I do best isn't very nice. Is Stop it? trying to make this deeper than it is, dude. <laughs> no. He's right, though. I mean, a lot of people could look at Striker and, uh, and <laughs> Sabretooth's actions and be like, I can see how they're the good guys. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll tell, tell you to yeah. make this one super mutant to kill the other mutants. <laughs> I'll tell you this. This was, this was the first time in the series where the bad guy were just, where they were just seemed bad for the sake of being bad. Yeah. Sure. We don't have to kill him. Let's go to the next one. Why you got to kill him? 
All you need is their DNA. Why don't you just fucking stab them, let them go about their business? Like, who does, what does fucking matter? Stryker went from being this relatively complex character in X2, which granted, I guess maybe he's had 20 years to fucking grow up on it. Brandon, exactly. we don't know what time period exactly. necessarily is taking no, place in, because there's all. no defined period His at all. His kid is still a kid. Also, he looks frozen. like Andy Cohen. Yeah. So you assume this is like the 80s Andy or, or late True. or early well, 90s. It was that they did the Vietnam stuff. Yeah. He walked away from Nam. Six years later, they come to Canada and get him. So it's got to be the early 80s, right? Which doesn't make sense because of how Vietnam like, didn't last longer than the seventies. Well, we don't know how long uh, they were in whatever unit this was, right before they walked away. That's oh, fair. Next, I think also, that's Tim, I'm yeah. very, very shocked that you are mentioning a singular director, Gavin Hood. I could have sworn that ten or fifteen people worked on this fucking movie because there are <laughs> there are scenes in this movie that I feel like. You know how a bunch of fans remade RoboCop and Star Wars? Mm -hmm. yeah, That's did. what this felt like, where it's like from scene to scene, you don't know what like what sort of continuity problems there are going to oh, be. God. It fucking blew my the mind. Story, and, and the story in this seems like 15 people wrote it at the same time. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And just turned in pages. And like, we're hey, like, what's we're your, done. We're going what's on your break? interpretation? Okay, you'll get the first act. You'll right. get the second. Like, it's just terrible, It's fucking man. weird because, you know, we, we saw Solo and we all kind of had the same similar feelings on it yeah. where it's like, why are you like answering all of these questions? Like every single thing we know about we need to find out and I feel like this movie did that like even worse and I always wondered how he got that jacket any fucking <laughs> question which by the way the, like we were talking about this earlier like is, <laughs> is that, that the, the same, same jacket, jacket that he wears in X2 but not in X1 I don't think so so it's like what What the fuck like none of that makes sense I didn't the, catch it also as much as he gets shot all. and stabbed Wait, I don't think. you didn't catch the yeah. scene where he gets the jacket no I got that okay. I just didn't know there was okay. a significant they jacket there was like my son's jacket they should have just showed him where is he like a fucking goodwill like I'll take that jacket. Like, all right. It just it was <laughs> very fucking weird. This movie straight up didn't need to happen. It's such a weird, not only just weird X-Men movie, it's a weird movie in general. Where it's I mean, like, it just, when you really think about what happened overall, nothing. Except for, like, every, every single uh, time they answered a question that we weren't asking, they opened up, like, ten doors for, like, bullshit. How he lost his memory. Yeah, uh, that's uh, but, yeah. The, but the sad, the sad reality of that is, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I did not, I didn't, I didn't read the Weapon X comics. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I actually... I think I read a couple of them, but it's been so long. That I don't, I don't remember. think it's connected to this. But that's the sad thing is that his origin story as Weapon X is really <laughs> fucking cool. And how they like made him into this thing and how it drove him kind of fucking crazy. And like how that's how his brain was all jumbled because they were purposely going in there and trying to fucking erase all of his memories, things like that. And they kind of had that set up in X2. But he goes, now I erase his memories and nothing ever happens. They, yeah, they so did. So like, erase his memories. I'm like, oh, he's going to erase his memories now. No, no, yeah, no he escapes and there's more he escapes, movie, which, which is, is stupid. So, so, so like, not only does this movie uh, fuck up his origin story, but it fucks up like any possibility of there being a Weapon X style origin story, which is hilarious because yeah. by the time you get two days of future past, they go, Fuck it, let's just throw him in there for no reason. And he's just back and in And he there. is the animal then. Then he yeah. is brainwashed and just going to run out there and be naked Wolverine. Yeah, it's naked awesome. Wolverine. But see, that's like, it's so sad because that, or that, that style, and I could be totally wrong about this. I don't know if that's how he loses his memory or whatever, but I always thought that was sort of the impetus of him being like, I don't know who I am or why these things are in my hands or whatever, because they just like fucked with his mind so much. Um, but yeah, I mean, this answers questions. And not only does it answer questions that we don't want answered, <laughs> it answers them in the stupidest possible fucking totally, way. Holy man. How did he lose his memory? Well, let me just uh, introduce this unbelievably stupid adamantium bullet in the third that act. They, that they fucking open up the open thing up. like three times during the movie. As just if so it's know, like cool reveal. It's like it's a lame ass Why gun. is it in a stupid case? What the fuck? It's Why the are there only know, six man. bullets? And that's the other thing. They should have made like, more. They really should have <laughs> made well, more. Yeah, Why would an adamantium bullet erase his memory? I don't know. Well, you know what I mean? Well, no, 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 the adamantium bullet could get through his adamantium. Incorrect. And next to he is shot in the head with a regular bullet. Because, of course, in the... Uh, that doesn't get in, though. In the beginning. Yes, it does. In the beginning, it kills him, Kevin. He dies and then pushes it out. Like, in the first two movies, or no, three, I guess. Crushed on his skull. No. You could see incorrect. it. It was on the top. No. Incorrect. It goes through and then gets pushed back out. What? So you're telling me that knocks him out? Yeah. And he, uh, you, you have to remember in these movies, anything knocks him out. Yeah, I remember. Remember, remember <laughs> being knocked out. Point, at one point, at he gets all. thrown ten feet, knocked out cold. Yeah. Now remember also in this movie he does after he's gotten the adamantium uh, fused to his skull in fact get shot in the head multiple times and it just goes ping 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 exactly. and then the thing goes in and he's like I'm rage mode so I'm impervious well, to being knocked out in X1 today. when they Tomorrow, did the, though, they did the x-rays of him it was that there was adamantium like plates put over him it wasn't that all his bones were adamantium Yeah in this one they're all was bones yeah. with the exception of his claws which somehow become kitchen knives yeah. I don't know how that science works 
I don't know how you fuse. They don't look like bony. Yeah, like they, they should have been bony as fuck, but they're not. They're, that perfectly, been so ser- they're perfectly sharpened down to the edge kitchen knives. They look if, like the elder he, wand. If he just had the bony bones? rods okay. that would come out. Well, that's what <laughs> like slicing it. Would. That's always just kind of how I assumed they were supposed to be like more more like cylindrically like cone shaped. But in this, no, they come out as gigantic fucking like steak knives. Very. I weird. hate the fucking bone claws. I, I hate bone claws too. Just yeah. Dumb. Well, I, don't, I just I just like them being more like thinner, like bladier, like more like rapiers. I mean, it makes sense, a, you know what I mean? Because again, s- his mutant healing power is his power, with the exception of the bone claws, and the exception of the enhanced hearing, and the exception <laughs> of the enhanced smell. Mm-hmm. Other than that, very clear, his mutant ability healing. I know we're jumping around sure. more than we usually do for these movies, but yeah. fuck it, they didn't care. We don't also, care either. How the fuck? Does Deadpool have katanas that come out of his arms? Like when they're retracted, can his arms not move? I don't understand <laughs> that. The they That's were like the five thing. times as long as his arm. I'm like what but is Nick, the Nick fuck is set up earlier here? in the movie that he really likes swords, so they had, they had to use it. Somehow. I totally get that. I but, totally get yeah, that. Yeah, and they also mentioned that you know a good sh- a good soldier is one. You'd be the perfect soldier if you didn't talk. Exactly. That's why yeah. Stitch yeah. is way yeah. fucking yeah. Stitch's yeah. goddamn mouth. Well, I, mean, I actually stitches, really like Ryan Reynolds. They just grab. They 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 show the scene where they lift up the the yeah. thing and he, he kills the general up. with a blade. He's all stitched he? up yeah. and then later it's like like yeah. healed? I feel like somebody just know. threw like a pound of like fucking human meat at his face and they like just kind of ironed it on or some shit and it fused. It Jumping so around gross. a bit but since we're talking about this there's actually three post credit scenes. Uh, mm. the, if you guys all did you watch them yesterday? Yeah I think so. so I, I saw one, two. Yeah one of them is Striker when they see Walking. him and they're like they, they catch him and they're just like oh you're You're wanted for questioning suspicion. and the murder of this guy but somehow that'll be forgotten and you'll end up in the office with the president next to you. And then the next one like the post credit scene is uh, Logan Wolverine in, in Japan, Japan, Japan right? Like, which is kind of a setup for, Drinking to for the next movie. Uh, but there was a, there's a third one that was only in some screenings I of the theaters. I saw this one live. You did? Oh yeah. Huh? Oh, this one? Yeah. yeah, where it's uh, the destruction of the, the fucking island or whatever, and it oh, zooms I in, remember this and one. you see Deadpool's arm kind of like fucking going to his head, and he like opens his eyes, and he opens his mouth, and he goes, shh. And that's so it. dumb. Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude, that's real. <laughs> I want this studio to close down. <laughs> but also don't remember it. after three movies of arguing about this, Cyclops' v- heat vision is very much heat vision. Oh, yeah, in this one, yeah. In this one, it's heat vision and for sure. The biggest problem this fucking franchise has is consistency, even just with characters, even just with the powers they have. And it's like, I, we can, you know, give them excuses for it being a different time when they made all these goddamn movies and like just needing the effects to look cool. Yeah. I thought that the way that Sy- uh, Sabretooth moved in this movie made sense because only he was doing it. But then every once in a while, people would just like uh, Agent Zero. It's like, oh, yeah, his powers are like he gets to shoot people accurately. He's, He's very like, good aim, like Hawkeye. Like, <laughs> but he can also jump really high and do flips and shit. It's like, what the fuck? How come every character can fly? Speaking, yeah. of, speaking of Sabretooth, when he is running after Cyclops, that's like one of the only, maybe if not the only good CGI scene in this movie, where uh, he's where like he's running like, through. The, I love that. I love running through the hallways and, and all the walls. I was like, wow, that looks stuff. actually fucking great. There's like, that scene I where he starts running at Wolverine fun. in the alleyway, and he just starts galloping like a fucking looks like so saber tooth tiger. It looks fucking dumb. Sometimes it looks, so it looks really dumb. dumb, but there's like I, I, I like the concept the wire, of it. Yeah. And sometimes I thought it worked. Sometimes yeah. like where you can't really see where it actually lined up that he was doing this as the mm-hmm. thing was going because you don't get a sense of momentum like he's actually doing it. But I like the way he moved. I liked everything about uh, Liev Shriver's character. I thought he did a great job as saber tooth. I thought he did an actually like. He actually brought that character to life in this. Are we doing a plot rundown? Well, yeah, uh, the budget okay. was 150 million, which is double what X Men One had, and the box office was 373 million. X Men One was at 296. Greg, hit us with the plot. It's 1845, yeah! and Jimmy has a cold. He's always sick. <laughs> You're this sick. Little I was shit. always sick too. That's weird. How Victor, we not know? I was always sick. You're always sick. Victor's in the brothers. room with him. Victor's going to be saber tooth. Everybody, he's sharpening his fingernails in a very gross way into a very sharp uh, saber toothy claws or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and then you know Jimmy's sitting there, cough, cough. And then his dad comes up in the room and he's all like, "Oh, I thought you'd already left, Victor." Blah, 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 blah. And then he goes over kind to his of son. You just stay. Clearly, his like his beloved son. He's just petting him and be yeah. like, "Oh, you okay, Jimmy? You're all you can bounce back from this." It's all right. Knock, knock, knock at the door downstairs. Dad goes to investigate. Victor stares knock, at Jamie knock, a little bit. Knock, you know. Heaven's Wolverine's door. door. <laughs> uh, 
There is a scuffle. There's a noise. Maybe a gunshot. Uh, Daddy forgets. He hasn't had enough recap juice. <laughs> what is a gunshot? Uh, Jimmy now well enough to run out there. Runs on down there. Finds uh, his dad dead. The groundskeeper there. Drunk again. Uh, the mom. His mom. Jimmy's mom. Jimmy gets all fucking angry at. He's like. Ah, and he does it. It's a little. It's very cute. It's a very cute little boy being Hugh Jackman. He looks up and he, he, he does the thing, and it's like, oh man, it. you are a cute little Hugh Jackman. Like to take you. It's like when Porty tries to take on a bigger dog. Exactly, you're like, you got exactly. no fucking But chance. he makes his bone claws come out of his hand for the first time. Runs over, stabs the groundskeeper. Guess what? He might have been your daddy boy, but he ate your father. The groundskeeper's your father. He had the mutant gene. Yeah. Oh uh, my god! And it was Victor's father too. Uh, they just run away. Now we run off into the woods there, and outside of this 1850 or 1845 Canadian household. Uh, Victor catches up to him. Uh, Jimmy just wants to go home, but guess what? They've already got like the Frankenstein search party out there. They got dogs and f- fucking flashlights and shit. Well, not flashlights. Kill the beast. Yeah. Do you, think, what the do you fuck? think that this town's in where they're at in this town? They just have that on standby. Apparently. Like instead of a firefighter organization, they just have a fucking mob. Jimmy's mom, there. but not his real mom. Was like, what are you? What did you Get do? The lynch mob. In fucking mutants. Wait, and that's not Jimmy's mom. Jimmy's real mom. Like, yeah, that was it? Jimmy's real mom. Did, I just thought that I thought that the groundskeeper that, banged her, and then yeah, like, that I thought was that's it. what it was. I thought that was all super unclear. Made no I sense. I saw it clear. It did make sense. Might be the worst scene we've seen yeah. thus far in the whole fucking franchise because it's dumb as fuck, yeah. and I don't think anybody understood it. I yeah. didn't realize that he was a groundskeeper. I thought it was somebody. That's what who I like, got too. I, I know this was... from Wikipedia because oh, okay. Wikipedia was nice enough to try to explain it. <laughs> I thought when he was, was like, like somebody who to... broke in the house to no, like no. maybe take his well, son he's, back. He's Victor's dad. Yeah. So yeah. like he's got a thing. He's drunk again. So mm-hmm. Victor's his stepson, or no, well, step brother. Real son. Yeah, no, no, no Victor is Wolverine. Jimmy's half brother. Yeah, yeah. half brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, all right, cool. We're gonna be on the run, and brothers take care of each other. Spill the same blood in the same, same mud, brother. brother. And so, what are they gonna do? They're just gonna fucking be agent soldiers for hire the rest of their life. We go to the Civil War. We're killing people. We go to World War One. We're killing Trench people in the funny little hats. People. We go to World War Two. It's D Day. Let's kill, kill some people. Kill them Nazis. You know what I'm exactly, saying? Exactly. Exactly. Now it's Vietnam, and now fucking Jimmy's got to start getting a conscience. You know what I mean? He's killed all these other fucking people. They had family too no big deal Vietnam's the one where it's like all right wait a second we're losing this war I don't like losing a war now I might be reading into Jimmy's uh, motivation here a little bit but I do feel it was mainly the fact that it just wasn't going as easily as the rest of the wars had and at this point Jimmy really has to start worrying about LBJ is he making the right decisions (laughs) of course Jimmy understands this wasn't his war Kennedy really put us on this path but doesn't get credit for it because he was assassinated so really LBJ not looked favorably upon but Jimmy understands this and wasn't happy when LBJ (laughs) Jay's like, I'm not going to seek another term. Forrest Gump somewhere in there, too. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Two towns over, Forrest Gump's gone. Back back in uh, when the movie first started, where was that? Was that in Canada or America? Canada. Okay. You're talking 1845? Yeah. Canada. Canada. Very much Canada. He is really Canadian. Cool. Which he knows at the end conveniently. No, no, no. He didn't know. No. Yeah, he did. He knows yeah, he was Canadian uh, before he got his he got, mind but it, was, it was before he got his brains. Right, but isn't know, there a petite... Uh, in, in, yeah, in the post credit thing, he goes Canadian, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, why do you? Why would you why say would that? Why you think that? Yeah, I think you're Australian, because mm. I've mm. met other people like you. Mm. I, I disregard this, this matter. Yeah, Anyways, know. though, there, guess what? Sabretooth, you know what I mean? Victor, he's getting this bloodlust on. He's mm. like, he's going too far. He has his little smile with his little teeth. He does. He has really cool teeth. He's going too far with all the murder for hire shit, though. You know what I mean? Excuse me. And, uh, you know, the army's not about this anymore. This is a new army. This is a reformed army. They're like, we don't just rape and pillage anymore unless we're f- f- specifically told to rape and pillage. So he takes out his commanding officer. That's a big brouhaha. They all surround him with their guns, both uh, both uh, Sabretooth and the Wolverine there. Uh, and they're like, eh, and, and like, well, Logan doesn't want to fight. But Logan, I'll leave you this. Hugh Jackman, great facial expressions in this oh. movie. A lot of great facial expressions. This, I, this, this is, is the, the one, Hugh Jackman that we know and love. This is the one, honestly, where he's like the most Wolverine. This, I feel like I where mean, he really nails like, oh, I've, from stem to stern, you are Wolverine. I was, I was talking to them about this at lunch, but I feel like this was the first time a comic book movie created a, an outfit and a look for a character that became iconic to that character. Sure. 
where it's the like, wife like the wife beater, the jeans and stuff. It's like that is a new look for Wolverine where it's like that's just as canon as his yeah. little fucking yellow suit. I, I would love to sit down and talk to Hugh Jackman one day and be like, because because Joey said that clearly, up. clearly he's built off of like all of the hard work he's put into his body over the last like nine years. Right. Since 2000, he's got nine years of working out and staying fit. This is the first time you think like I, if I'm not mistaken, I, I feel like this to this or the Wolverine was that shot we got of him on Instagram. Or social media where he was deadlifting and he looks like three human beings. That was the Wolverine. Yeah, was the Wolverine. Wolverine. Mm -hmm. He's getting so fucking cut by this movie that you just, I like, what did you do? Because he's like, his body fat percentage must have been somewhere around 10%, if not less. I mean, he's when he takes his shirt off, you're like, God damn. He's got the striations in his fucking shoulders and his damn. biceps have that, like, that that defined Fuck like yeah, beauty. Fuck yeah. Also, nice tan in this movie. Mm -hmm. I feel like someone came around and was like, you know what's lacking? Uh, was your pasty white and the other ones? Also, how did they not think to do his hair like this the entire yeah. time? No, hair they, looks great. His look in this movie is perfect. Perfect. That thing is like you know CG terrible aside, uh, nonsensical moments of the plot aside. Hugh Jackman's fun to watch in this movie. I was Lev Schreiber. I thought. Yeah. He's a little I don't mind him. I sucks. don't mind him. I like him as an actor. I like just his like movements. The movement, yeah, yeah, the weird run and all that shit. I thought he I was like I thought he was ominous. I thought his character was scary. I thought he like he just brings a dimension to it that Knuckles McNucklesson from the first movie didn't no, bring to it. Don't even bring him up. You know, you know I thought Leo Shriver just brought that like Made no a, sense. way more personable character. So when they were on screen together, I was like, I believe these people are like estranged brothers and like have a have a bond and wouldn't necessarily come to each other's aid at the end no matter what. But um, Do you know that true story? They get together still every National Siblings Day. Those Do they really? Actors? Good nah. for them. <laughs> they get tattoos. Really so they're in trouble now. There, they just get surrounded rather than just fucking murder all these other soldiers. They're like, whatever, we'll come in. So they dope get, opening scene, by the way. I don't want to like montage. That yeah, oh, yeah, that totally, montage totally, totally, yeah. was fucking cool. Again, I thought here's where the style works. Mm -hmm. I think good freeze frames, good stuff. I think it tried to do the Watchmen thing, just not as good. Like, yeah, I don't think it worked that mean? well. Yeah, well, it was a cool concept, and they did it. They did it. Huh? Watchmen hadn't done that. 2009, yet, you said? I thought Watchmen when came out. When Watchmen nine. come out. Yeah. Joey, can I get it? 2008. It was 2008. Okay, cool. All right, I guess it happened. Uh, so they drag him back to base and they put him on a pole and they're going to execute him. Fucking dope scene again. Mm -hmm. All right, cool, mm -hmm. right? You know what I mean? And like Lieb Shriver is like, ah, and then they shoot him. They all shoot. Mm hmm. And guess what, everybody? Shooting there for not a while. Not dead. You know what I mean? They're not. They die, I assume, and then they come back. And then like they're thrown in the jail cell or whatever and they make friends with rats again. Sabretooth, just Dude, a lot of like that. A lot of friends with rats here. He's got rats on his shoulder, rats on this. Like the rats. rats. Yeah. And the rat was all up on him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's just chilling though. Too close, man. And so the door gets open. Who is in it? Who is it? It's William Stryker. You know him from X2. Let's get this guy's backstory. He is there. In Nick's life. No, I just, I just like the way you said William Stryker. What I'd I like thought... to call out about William Stryker is the actor's name Nick is. I don't know. And what I'd like to point out is that I feel like he is a shoe in for the Anthony Bourdain biopic that will eventually. Interesting. Mm. Even before this, I, wa good, I watched yes. this. I'm like, he reminds me, or maybe not. He's a shoe in for the Andy Cohen. I Everybody like look was, up yeah, Andy, Cohen. Andy, Cohen. Andy Cohen. Andy Cohen. He does look he like Andy Cohen. Like he was a vampire. You can in see something. me interview Andy Cohen on Lip Sync Battle Pre Show. I digress. Hmm. Back to this. <laughs> William Stryker's there, and he's got a whole bunch of fucking medals on and shit. And like, here are two guys we know are fucking killers and have weird powers, but he's gonna get all close to him and talk shit to him and be all weird. Okay, cool. How was that? It tickled. Exactly. Tickled. Exactly. Basically, he's like, "Listen, Lord, guys, you pickle. can either live the nightmare of being caged the rest of your life, or you can come with me and do some real shit. Because we're <laughs> getting black ops over <laughs> here. All right, you guys want to get into the get in the mud, as they say. I do. You want to get into the wetness? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> do they say that? No. Get the moisture. Do some wet work. Do they say that? Maybe some. some, some uh, moss. You want to come? Do can we point the fan towards me a little bit? Like it's just it's it's it's, it's, it's a quarter on Tim, and then the um, democracy thing. Andy didn't want yeah. it. His pretty little eyes are gonna dry. It's cool. Out. Push I like it all it. the way up I to me. Like push it. it all the oh, way up to me. This feels so good. Nick and I both too. hate it. You, I don't like it. Then we need this. this so there needs to be the fat side of the table and the thick yeah. side of the table. All right, <laughs> needs we can to happen. Do we can do, do that. We can do it right now. No, because the camera no, has to redo third. the thing. Fuck yeah. the lower thirds. Who cares? We're an audio podcast. Numbers dwarf the video podcast. It's okay. It's kind of nice. That's fine. Hey guys, you want to come work with me? And they're like, you know what? And they go to work with him. They go to work with him. Hey guys. 
<laughs> That's how he said. <laughs> this is my impression of William T. Stryker, all right? That's you know, William S. You know, Stryker, good. Esquire. <laughs> and so we jump from there up into a plane. It's the years later, and we've been doing this for a while or whatever. Maybe we saw a montage of them doing shit. Who the fuck knows? Who cares? We jump up into it's the plane, useless though. useless if we did. We've got a plane, and guess what? Up in this plane, everybody's up there. It's a menagerie. And who who remember that Dominic Monaghan was in this movie? I, no, totally I sure didn't. Totally no, I sure didn't. Uh, like but him, I'm like, like his I character. Know him. Friend of the show. Thought that mutant was cool. Thought the fact that he can control the plane with his mind. Yep. He was the one piloting. It was cool. Yep. Very cool. He used the radio. Like he was reading about. I was like, this character. Uh, really cool. I mean, it's really cool, but they used him way too little. Yeah. Oh, wait, well, too many they used him. They did to the guys like we were going to cut totally, the Totally, let's cut waste a whole bunch of mutants in this movie. As always. That's I mean, they, they didn't use fucking Deadpool that well either. No. I actually really, I was like, oh, fuck, Ryan Reynolds is in this as Deadpool. But at least Deadpool had one cool scene. Like the only scene he had was just. Yeah, the we, best scene in the movie where he we got scene. little glimpses of like, oh, this is what yeah, there yeah. was. There was that snarkiness that I don't remember there being. That's the thing, Deadpool. Up until he gets surgery, yeah, fuck, pretty. Cool. I love him. Yeah, Deadpool light, but still Deadpool. Yeah. Sure, funny. He has that yeah. great scene where he he actually he's like you're up and he actually goes and does all. I was like fucking. That's huh? a rad. He scene. does the same scene where he cuts a bullet in half, just like in, in Deadpool. Well, two. that's why. Yeah, that's why that Deadpool yeah, two scene because they start homage. with that. And you're like, oh, he's got it, and then he does the same thing he did in this one. And he's just covered in bullet <laughs> holes. Like your, your guns are really fast. <laughs> there, was no, there was no CG there. Ryan Reynolds actually trained to do sword stuff, so that was really him doing it. Oh, that's Ryan cool. Reynolds the G. Ryan the Reynolds fucking the G. G man. Uh, I will say this also. Well. You know what? We'll save it for the ad, Mandy. Okay. We'll save it for the ad. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we're up in the... Did I jump? Did that scene happen before the plane? I can't remember. Uh, no, no, that scene's... I thought the plane they're, they're was the introduction to, of everybody. They're going yeah, to that scene. scene. Dominic right Monaghan, he controls this. Will I am is there. Uh, you got this one guy who looks weird. He's got blonde hair. All right. Zero's there. Who the fuck knows what he is? There's some other dudes, but they're as meaningless as this. Then You don't even need to worry about it. Will I am not a terrible actor. Like, not horrible. I sure. disagree, but okay. In the land of terribleness, he is not the worst. Everybody Let's check out the way. recasting he, the Black Eyed Peas. Go, game over Greg. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when we jumped to the scene of him in Vegas or whatever, talking to Wolverine, I was like, man, they're like holding, it's like an SNL skit out here, where it's like they're reading, holding a cue card, and he's like, I am mad at you, Logan. Oh, I didn't notice that, but. It wasn't really a cue card. I'm just saying he sounded no, like yeah, he was I, reading I, off the page. Hmm. And I am not an actor, and I probably would be way worse. Go get him, Will I Am. I'm sure you'd cry yourself Fuck, to sleep. He's not this. Let's talk shit. It's fine. <laughs> Anyways, they are on the plane. They bring the plane in. They do the mission. I don't know what the fucking mission Yeah, they do. They yeah, go they to the it. gate and then they send in one so at a time. So, this is all the same mission of getting yeah, yeah. up to the thing. Yeah, they the got to go up to the gotcha. thing. They send an Agent Zero. He jumped and does a bunch of stuff. Flips over the thing and Shoot. shoots everyone. Why does he flip backwards, you know? He's, 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 got, he's just so unrealistic. He's got, he's got some of Mystique's powers. There you go. That's all you need to know. You got the blob movie. that he punches a tank yeah. and the tank yeah, explodes. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's and that's right. very important for later in life. Where well, I am apparently, can warp around a bit, but not like Nightcrawler, but kind of like Nightcrawler. Yeah, that's exactly cool. like Nightcrawler, except mm-hmm. without the smoke. That effect was cool, by the way, because he warps like outside in. Yeah. So his skin goes away yeah. for a second. You see his skeleton. It's fucking trippy. Did you see that the whole time, or was it just, just later? I thought it was just death later scene. On. I think you see it the yeah, whole time because when Ryan time. Reynolds does it, because because they give him the power from his DNA, he does his character does it too. <laughs> so it goes like skeleton for a second. It's fucking freaky. It's cool. We get in there. We get in an elevator. It's We're going up. They stop the elevator. It's funny. Everybody's being funny. Everything's cool. Warlord guy stops the elevator. Dominic Monahan's like nah, son. Keeps the elevator going. They get up there. They all just step to the side into the elevator so Ryan Reynolds can go do his thing. He does his thing. It's cool. Everybody agrees that's cool. Mm-hmm. Dope scene. Exactly. Stupid. The whole thing's stupid, though, because they're like, yeah, hey, you're up now, Deadpool. Don't worry about the fact that you've got Wolverine and Sabretooth with you, both of whom are equally as good at this, and there's 30 guys in this room. Just go ahead, Deadpool. Show much. Let, him be a we'll just Let chill. Wade Wilson get paid. Uh, he gets over there. Will I am stops the guy from shooting. I want the. He picks up the rock. This is what it's all about. Give me this rock. It's a, that's nothing. It's a trinket. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to know where it came from, kind of thing. Oh, that's where. This is where I'm going. Not yeah. right, cool. Adamantium. Yeah. Well, it's adamantium. Yeah. We. I don't think. Do we? I don't think it's. We don't know. Reveal. I feel like they yeah. probably could have had like just a conversation instead of like infiltrating. Killing everyone. Attacking. Probably could have yeah. called them up. Like, hey man, where'd you get that? I'll pay yeah. you some money. But no, yeah. I'm gonna come with these People highly paid assassins. Speak that probably when the force comes in. All right. It's true. William yeah. I don't know J. Stryker understands be with you. this. May the force People be with speak you. louder than words. Exactly. People are the force. They find out it's in a village. They go to the village. There's one guy there that Ryan Reynolds is translating for. He guy's like, I don't know, I don't know where it's fucking is. He fell from the sky, and he's like, all right, well, let's just start fucking killing people. Until he tells us where it is, let's kill everybody. Which is weird, because didn't Vibranium fall from the sky also? Yeah. <sighs> the X-Men universe and the Marvel universe, they're very much like, we all need our own versions of yeah, everything. I guess. I, I did read that um, Adamantium would be stronger, though. Than like, Vibranium? Yeah, well, yeah, Vibranium, it, isn't, wasn't Cap Shield supposed to be made out of both? So
comic books, man. It probably was right and wrong at the same time in some universe. Yeah, so adamantium's like the strongest of them all, but vibranium. Why wouldn't like Tony just make a suit vibrates. out of adamantium? That's what I'm talking about. I feel like make he a did. suit out of Captain America's shield. Make a suit Black. out of Captain America's skin. Make the plane out of the black box. You know? Take exactly. Chris Hemsworth <laughs> home with you. <laughs> all right, so that this is where it's like you know, all right, we're just gonna fucking start straight up killing Fuck people. Fuck it, we're gonna so murder. Gotta, and this is and where Logan's it just like, becomes no, this no. Is, this is where Striker <laughs> and the team are just <laughs> evil for the sake of evil. And I thought that was like, I'm like, this is just dumb, right? Because like somehow Wolverine is the only person on this team that has a conscience, right? We see the later Will I Am and Donald Monahan are like, we're not gonna do this, but like Sabretooth has this bloodlust in his eyes, and Agent Zero is just as bad, and like Wade's crazy to like all of these psychopaths are just in it to kill everyone. I'm like, what a fucking what's one note, man? It's yeah. just but one it's note. like no. Sorry, go I just, I will say I love that this is like the only time we see uh Wolverine smile. And he smells a lot in the first half of this movie, up until like things start getting really bad. Like he's totally he like just oh, a normal you're talking dude. About the movie with he the girl? Yeah. Oh, my with the apologies. Girl? Yeah, with the girl he's or all happy there, really. and with all like even with Gene and all that shit, he's always like mm, Gene. Wolverine. It's a bad morph. situation. Because he misses morph. Gene, morph. Yeah. morph. Uh <laughs> you know what? Wolverine's like, I can't fucking hack this anymore. Bye, William T Striker. And William G. Striker's like, you know what? You just can't walk away from us, Logan. To which it makes you think, man, they're about to fucking throw down. Mm -hmm. Instead, no, Wolverine walked just out of Vietnam. Walk walked out of Vietnam, just got out of the house, got walking. to Canada eventually, and started a new life. Six years later, guess what? He's got a lovely little fucking cottage at the top of the Canadian Rockies or wherever the fuck it is. He walked for eight months just in the ocean. <laughs> he could do that though. Yeah. Kind of. Right? Sure. He would drown, but he'd keep waking up, I guess. That sounds not fun. <laughs> you know, really bad. Bad. Nothing about his Real life slow. sounds fun. Uh, I appreciate at the end when he's like, "This is gonna hurt a lot." If that is like consolation, he's like, "It kind of is." All right, cool. Uh, but you know, Wolverine, he gets back to Canada, has a nice little life there. He's gonna be a lumberjack. Cool, whatever. You know what I mean? Finds this lady who kind of looks like Jean Grey, thus implanting in his brain that guess what? <clears throat> I can forgive LBJ for the mistakes he's made, <laughs> <Right>. but <laughs> I'm always gonna love this kind I'm of woman. Steal a woman <laughs> from a man. <laughs> no, no, no. Greg, you're skipping. It's be. You're rushing through a very, very key thing. I, I think it's I gonna lead us into a podcast within a podcast. Yeah, the shot of Logan on the mountain in front of the little cabin, shirtless. Yeah. Just fucking oh, majestic. Man. I feel like this was the debut yeah, Andy, of the Wolverine. Give it to me. Were they born? Born in labs. Now it's time to rank those abs. Welcome back to Rank Those Abs, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Nick Scarpino. Uh, there are two. Th we've 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 arrived. We've arrived. Okay. As you know, the abs, they're not born in labs. They are made, in fact, at the gym. And Hugh Jackman spent, yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, nine years in the making to get this shirtless scene. And holy mother of Christ. Call your parents. Call your grandma. We're not coming home anymore. We found we what going? is the bow. We're gonna go with. We're gonna go to Washboard <laughs> Abs Land. Okay. He looks fucking fantastic in this. Also notable, Ryan Reynolds. What up? What? Up? What the fuck <laughs> up, bro? Both those guys look fantastic in this. But uh, like I said before, this is really where Hugh Jackman was like, "Let's kick it into high gear and let me be, just be shredded." Because not only is he jacked in this, he is like fucking. He's got to be like less than ten percent body fat in the going into this movie. And this is the Jackman we see pretty much here on out, all the way to Logan. Mm -hmm. And like I have to imagine at this point in his life, his body has just given up on him. Yeah, because that's a lot of fucking lifting you have to do. So Nick, I got a lot of little facts about Hugh Jackman's body. Give it to me. As Finally, as possible. Uh, Leave Give was given a muscle suit inches. to wear for his role as Victor Creed, huh. similar to what Vinnie Jones, the Juggernaut, wore in X Men: The Last Stand to make his physique look comparable to Hugh Jackman's 220 pound figure. The suit made Schreiber feel humiliated and he requested a chance to gain real muscle. He trained for three months while filming Defiance in Lithuania and continued to, to train alongside Jackman during filming. Jackman also made Schreiber add a great deal of protein to his diet, which Schreiber called the genocide of chickens. <laughs> in the end, Schreiber gained 40 pounds and had to buy several new suits due to his back gaining several inches in width. Yeah. I can't fit into my favorite suit now, but I felt like I owed it to this genre to be big. He was, He's a big dude, by That's the way. Dope. Because like, I feel awesome. like, like, like Leo's like taller than than Hugh Jackman. He's a fucking big dude. Big you ever see him Ray Donovan? You're like that dude's fucking towering. Hugh Jackman underwent a high intensity weight training regimen to improve his physique for the role. He altered the program to shock his body into change and also performed cardiovascular workouts. Jackman noted no digital touches were applied to his physique in a shot of him rising from the tank within within which Wolverine has his bones infused with adamantium. He was also dude, he was that so scene took two days to shoot where he was just submerged underwater no for two days. No thanks. I would have freaked the fuck out in that scene. Uh, Horrifying. After Logan receives his adamantium claws, 
<laughs> After he receives his claws, he runs naked through the facility to freedom. He was actually naked. In an interview, Hugh Jackman stated that during one of the takes, several female crew were waiting around a corner, cheering and waving $1 bills as he ran by. Fucking hot. That's I heard, so funny. Isn't hot. there uh, another thing to that? This isn't a Greg joke, I swear. That's what I got. I I, what I had heard, I had heard that story, but with the punchline that when he di- when he ran in and they were doing that, he went to cover himself and stabbed himself in, in the legs, like actually not like like fucking killed himself, but like actually like cut himself with the claws because mm. he should not do that. He, oh, he had, okay. There were actual physical physical claws. That he I'm was sure they were like, somewhere. And they, they, you've seen them throughout the last three X Men movie, but here they were like for the majority nah, of it. Really. How about really shitty CG? How about really shitty yeah. CG to the to where the CG looks like. Fucking 2D animation in a Space yeah, Jam. That's movie. what it looked like. Yeah. Let's go to the Academy yeah. of the Art. We'll get a first year, yeah. and we'll have to just digitally hand draw those things. Yeah, in. They were it looked bad. like Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Fuck, they were bad. Yeah. Since we're here talking about the shitty CG, uh, there was the infamous leaked work print on mm. March 31st, 2009. A full length DVD quality work print of the film without time code or watermark, with some unfinished effect shots, a different typeface for titles and casting, and alternate sound effects was leaked online. The studio said it would be able to determine the source of the leak using forensic marks in the work print. Hey, the yeah, FBI yeah. and MPAA began investigating the illegal posting. Fox estimated the work print was downloaded roughly 4.5 million times Eesh. by the time the movie was released in theaters. As of 2014, Fox estimates that a minimum of 15 million people have downloaded it. I was one of those people. Did yeah. they we ever find the Before it came out? Yeah, people got in a lot of trouble. Oh, really? Uh, oh, nice. But yeah, well, so we watched we watched this cut, and it's they said that there was a bunch of different scenes. There was not. It was the exact same movie that ended up being in theaters, yeah. just with even worse effects, yeah. and they ended up having to rush the effects. So Did that it make explains the movie a lot of the shit. A ones. little bit more entertaining to not see the, the finished scenes. I, I, no, this will come together. With I went back and I, after the movie ended, I YouTubed like, I think the, one of the only things on YouTube was just the outro mm-hmm. where they're fighting on the big fucking uh, nuclear power plant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. I think. And uh, when it cuts out to the pan shots, it's just the 3D models, like all grade. There's no yeah. textures on anything. So you see like very like shitty stuff. And then it cuts back to the green screen, but just there's just like proxied background. So it's like, a still image of a cloud or a still image of a sky that doesn't move behind them. It's yeah. just like, it's not tracked or anything. It's fucking hilarious, dude. Dude, I want to watch it. You have this. to watch it. So again, mm-hmm. they have this thing in the Canadian Rockies where Hugh Jackman and this girl probably just fucking bang. Dude, not Windows loud, open, long. nobody all cares, nobody can hear. It's fucking awesome. But what we know is that he's always thinking about William T. Stryker. But while I digress, H. Macy. we'll get back to that. Uh, so yeah, he's happy. He's in love. He's found this woman. She's great, it seems. You know what I mean? I'm just going to mash a whole bunch of shit up in here. But you got to right? tell the story, though, that she tells. Where they're out. Okay, oh, fuck me. Fuck me. I'm going to get there. Get there. You there. talk about the goddamn shape of the Rockies for 45 minutes. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to No, gonna actually, know we inserted a shitty story. podcast. <laughs> the third most popular podcast within this podcast. I think it's the third most popular podcast, period. Everyone podcast. knows it goes <laughs> from bottom, that is the worst, to the top. Yeah, now we're just rank those abs. Uh, Ragu Bagu, Science with Kev. <laughs> Everyone's you're for, favorite. You're forgetting the, the wigging out. Oh, I didn't you forget it. Oh, oh, I didn't forget it. Damn, yeah, it. Shit. shit. Every wigging out episode is just like, I can't believe this wig, am I right? <laughs> and you wink at me. Uh, so yeah, he's happy. She's a school teacher. She's got a name that clearly makes it, even if you're in the audience, you have no idea. Guess what, everybody? She's somehow connected to the Marvel. She's going to be something. What is she? Stormbringer? Silver, Silver, Silver Fox. Silver Fox, yeah. Uh, no one in the history of the world has ever had the last name Silver Fox. And if you think you have, take me a photo of your driver's license right now and text me the details. You know what I mean? Because it's never happened. She's at a school. Guess what? Wolverine looks over there. She's good with kids. He's like, I'd like to put a baby in her. You know what I mean? He's about it. That's what he was thinking. And so then you go back there. Yeah. And then we get a little fucking story about, guess what, everybody? Here's a jack off story. There was this fucking spirit world where the moon was in love with some fucker. And then some other fucker was an asshole, a chickster. And so what he did it was he was like, you know what you should do, f- moon lover? You should go down to Earth and pick some stupid-ass flowers. And apparently this fucking trickster is the only one who knows the rules of the fucking soul realm, which is some bullshit. You're a, if that's your job, to exist in the soul realm, you need to know about things when you, get, Real you can't simple. undo them. You can't undo them. Real simple. He went down there, and so he sees the fucking moon, so he 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 howls in the moon. He's a Wolverine. What the fuck are we talking Do about? Do Wolverines howl? What the what fuck the are fuck? we talking yeah. about? And his you name was Cuckoo Cuchu. That was and funny. Thank you. And comes into the Wolverine. Thank you very much. And we're like, much. that's where the Wolverine got his name. Wolverine exactly. Origins. 
Roll credits. We there know. We get yep. it. Those are the origins. Dumb. Fuck this. Guess what? Choice number 15 of the stupid choices that Jimmy's have happened so far life in this movie. is fucking great. All right. He's six years sober. <laughs> he's up there smoking cigars, drinking beer, fucking bitches. It's great. He's having a great time being a log man. He, he gets on the, he leaves the car. They want, She wants to kiss in front of the guys. The guys are like, ooh. It's like, yeah, all right. More cool. chemistry between them than we've ever seen him have with any other character. Yeah. In this franchise, not to say far. there's a ton of chemistry, but there is more. But still, way more, more. more. Uh, meanwhile, while this is happening, more. guess what? Dominic, friend of the show, he, mm -hmm. you know, he also Lucky. left the squad. The squad ended somehow, of course. We have this super group of mutants, and eventually we're just going to be like, all right, everybody go your own separate ways. Right, we're not right, going right. to, you know, hold this over the rest of your life and make you do horrible things. Right. Sure, I believe that's how it works. You would think at that point, though. That would be the point where Stryker goes, hey, let's kill the people that want to leave this. Yeah. But no, let's just let them go start a fucking carnival for sure. five years. Let them think they're cool. And then for no reason, come and visit them and kill them. So Big Dom is working the freak show where he just does light bulb shit now. It's weird. Which doesn't 100 minutes. Like, but my all you have to do is turn the light bulb off to, and give me a, like, that's a weird trick to do. I, I, I But they unplug it. And then he breaks it on the second try, which they, he turned it off. Give me my fucking prize. Yeah. They walk away. They're cowards. But was it me or did that chick that he was with kind of want to bang Dominic Moynihan? No, she's she like she looked, looked she like, like somebody or was famous. You can turn on my life. She looked any familiar. Day. She's been in something. She looked very familiar. Yeah, well, she looked like she wanted that fucking Moynihan dick. <laughs> 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 anyway, I was gonna say Moyna Dick, but he goes back to his. We're trailer. trying here, guys. He goes back to his trailer, and he's got all so manner of. I thought this, part, this scene was cool, by the way. It was, yeah, it was I like just it. weird it was that like, he liked all this stuff. I thought it was cool. I just think that it's weird that when you, we see him debut his powers to us, it's controlling a fucking airplane and land it and shit, and yeah. then now he's just. Uh, I turned it on this little, little that kind of just shows robot. that he's like, I'm done with that life. I want to just live this small little fun life in this you weird didn't carnival. Was, was, that his, was that his carnival? Do you think it was his? Because well, at the end, when he dies, all the power goes out. I, that's what I, I assumed so, he was powering yeah. all those lights, right? Like, yeah. wasn't he the one? Isn't, wasn't that? I don't know. Who cares? Who the fuck cares? Doesn't matter. No. Does he make door. electricity? Or is it, Big know? old Sabretooth shows up. And Control. he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, is it, I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'll nail it. That's exactly hey, what he Dom said. was very much like, I thought it'd be Wade to come after me. He's like, no, it's me. I'm not afraid of you. What makes, at no point putting up any kind of defense. And he kind of just, he's just accepting What's he going to do, take the fucking yeah, toy knows, robot and throw it at him? He knows uh, If fucked. I could control all sorts of electronics, I have weird ass shit in there. I could, I mean, I would have. You would have some sort of defense. Again, it's think. ambiguous what time period it is. I would just grab is. a fucking plane from the air and like <laughs> also great. land it on him. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. No, let's just kill his character off for no reason. But he, he dies. That's it. He's dead. Okay, cool. cool. All lights him. go out. Great. Done. We're back to Canada up here. Everybody's been having a good time when William Q. Stryker shows up yeah. on Wolverine's <laughs> work site. And he's like, hey, Logan. Ah, uh, guess what? We got things have gotten out of hand. <laughs> things have not gone according to plan. Someone has gone rogue. Is killing all the agents. Wade's dead. The other guy you don't remember is dead. And they just killed Dom, Big Dom. And, and Wolverine's like, what? This is what? <laughs> what? What? This is a bigger upset than LBJ. <laughs> right? <laughs> <Yeah>. And so. <laughs> And so, uh, it's like, oh, well, I'm not gonna work for you, Striker. You're you're a fucking dick. I still don't like you. And he's like, No, Logan, you need to ah, do it, Logan. He's like, ah, I don't. I'm not gonna yeah. you serve your country. I'm Canadian. And he drives away. Good line. Mm -hmm. Good line. Mm -hmm. Canadian Good line. bud. Yeah. Bub. Uh, Bub. He drives back. That we get more of his exposition with the woman. We all see where this fucking shit's gone. Uh, Wolverine goes back to work the next day. He's there. He's just out there chopping. And again, as we've covered, Wolverine's uh, uh, mutant power, his healing ability. Plus his amazing sense of sound and, and smell. smell. And so he's out there and he's working in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> he's just chopping these trees up, having a sure, good time. Yeah, you know what I mean? Is. If these people would just go away, he'd just say, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> there's, there's rumors. How is that? What? Sharpen his claws a little there's bit. There's you know rumors I mean? that some nights he comes out there and just cuts them down with his claws. Ding, 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 ding. Like what manner of beast cut this tree down? It looks like a wolfery. But there, he's cutting down trees and having a great. And then he gets a, scent, a smell. Something's wrong. What's this? Yeah. And he, he fucking pulls back this thing, and it's like a hyena's head or a jackal's head. It's actually thought. Greg. Let me tell you and blow your mind. Is it a wolverine? A wolverine. Yeah. No oh, shit. Uh, that makes a lot a of sense because of course. Lieb Shriver knows everything that Logan knows. Sure. So when the story was told the night before that the moon needed the fucking the Wolverine fucks, 
that he heard that, mm-hmm. and that's why he chose Wolverine. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. We also saw the woman's power that she had. Fucking oh right, power she touches of persuasion. The but Wolverine acts like a moron about it. Like yeah. he doesn't understand oh, that it's a like mutant? a mutant thing. Yeah, you're just oh okay. Oh, well, he's well, in love with go go her. Also, dick. she's super hot. So my first we've thought all was like fallen prey to a super hot girl being like, ah, this yeah, is you something, and I go, okay, okay, I believe you. First, I was like, Logan, where did you find the supermodel at? Like just chilling out in the woods. I can tell you in Canada. Good for you, Logan. Amazing looking. Canada's where right. a lot of good looking people come from. Sure. Hugh Jackman, also from Canada. Nope. You're right. By way of Australia. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right. fair, fair, fair but he's sense. our national treasure. He yeah. is. He's beautiful. <laughs> I'll fucking fight so you. So Wolverine him. finds the Can't Wolverine's head and he's like, oh, bub. And then he looks over on the tree and there's like, yeah, scratchy, scratch. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know those scratchies. <laughs> oh, no. And he's like, I can smell it. I can smell it. <laughs> yeah, just in case you needed further proof that Victor's back, uh, I scratched a couple trees. I also wrote my name. Hey, I'm here, Victor. And Love meanwhile, <laughs> Victor meanwhile, was here. Victor there's was been the cutaways back and forth to her in the shitty car with fucking Sabretooth there. And he walked up in a really shittily CG. Put his fingernails into the car and fucked up the hood. I like that part. I like his fingernails. God, that in this, looks. Though. I like that he can, like grow them out and they're fucking gnarly. And like, why can they just just like cut through metal in the same way Joey, that they cut through butter? They're, they're strong. Why? Because yeah, they're, they're strong. We I, also get another. Joey, scene. we've got another Red Bull. I'll have one of those bad boys. We, we get don't. another scene of Wolverine running through the we forest, don't. which. I didn't realize it until we're doing this rewatch. I feel like 20% of the X-Men movies are Wolverine running through a forest. He looks oh, yeah. really good uh, running through a, a forest. There's a YouTube video called Fox Loves like Running Through Forest or some shit. Like, really? Man, it's a breakdown of all these times that it's, happens. It's fucking ridiculous. Let's see if I That's can like Tom Cruise running a Mission Impossible. So Wolverine gets over there. The car's there. There's no woman. He's like, what the fuck? And so he's like, <laughs> and he's just running through the woods looking around. Yeah. <laughs> like a fucking Indian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every pumpkin she, he sees she? along the way, he stabs. <laughs> and eventually he gets over and sees her jeans, her old blue jeans. Because that's what she was known for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's her trademark. So they're like, you know that Silver Fox? Excellent blue, blue jeans. jeans. He gets there and there she is. Just covered in blood. To which my wife goes, "There's no wound." Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, this will play yeah, later. Yeah. Yeah, stick around." Oh my well, god, Wolverine, what a fucking dumb. Moment. Such a fucking idiot. Thank you very much, Joey. More you know, that for so, another Fox fucking moron. You know what I mean? I sold the Hawkeye short because Hawkeye at least would walk over and be like, "Oh, oh I shoot things, but there's no hole in the body." In order for there to be blood, <laughs> there must first be hole. Hawkeye. <laughs> I love that Nick's move is to always do that. <laughs> I am stupid and one dimensional. So guess what? Dumb. She's fucking dead. Oh no, Logan's mad. Uh, no wait. What do you think that? What no. do you think the mentality was here? She's dead. He will look. Further. And I'm what? I'm just gonna what? Leave her there. That's it. Like no, he buried he, her. He buried her for sure. <laughs> he her in half. But you know what I mean? Like what? What was his next step? Like yeah. you, the woman you love that you've lived with for so long is dead. You found her dead in a field. Do you call the cops? Do they come to examine her? Once Speaking they do I examine her, you bury it. <laughs> so he bury did. You think he went from grief to like a fucking dog digging a hole, and he just. Well, again, her it in. was nighttime. It was nighttime because was the next daylight. scene is saber tooth there drinking in like a converted barn. That's just, the guy just serves booze in, and I was like, "Fuck, I would love to drink at this place." They're sitting on stumps. Yeah, he's like, "Do you have stumps. insurance? No, we got insurance." I'm like, "Fuck, me and Kevin should open this bar in San Francisco." Stumps, call they stumps. outside real quick. Call, call stumps. stumps Barn. Stumps call barn. Greg and Kev Stumps Barn. Once they start fighting, he like he immediately day. throws. Are you down in the dumps? Come to Stumps. <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg. And this is Kevin. I'm depressed. Let me make you worse. It's if you're a cop, don't come. We don't have a liquor license. We don't understand <laughs> how the law works, sir. But if you're under age, get you over here. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I guess my 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 assumption is he was like, I'm so distraught about this. I'm just going to leave your body out in the wilderness to probably get eaten by lots of wild animals. At that point, what do you want to do? Who the fuck cares about bodies? Bring your body back to our, the our corner, parents' generation for sure care a yeah. lot of oh baby do so this. you think what do you think my of, body I don't fucking care so when Jen Chugging finds space, you dead right? after yeah. well let's be all Sell honest it. do whatever you just can. a night of baby history on tears for you guys <laughs> we'll just everybody's talking about good luck rabbit's foot what about Greg Miller finger <laughs> how about this what if okay I'm throwing this out there we stuff you they brought me a lot of luck Tim <laughs> we stuff you and we ship you around the country and people get to one weekend with Greg every weekend like are Bernie's. you kidding me if you do that you fucking go taxidermy on my body you guys have a pax you have a panel for every convention like for a year. Greg is the fucking Stanley Cup. Like you just ship it around. <laughs> yeah. and we just, we, could, we could hollow them out so we could drink out of them too. That'd be great. <laughs> no. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hell is happening? But it's escalated me. so but quickly. Me. <laughs> 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 it's what he wanted. It's what he wanted. 
<laughs> I'm down. Fuck bodies. They don't matter. Anyways. It's a double idea. Uh, they go and they fight there and just saber tooth. Fucking schooling will him up. Left and right. Just and it's faster the, and, than him, stronger than him. And it's not about him. the bones at all. It's about the fact that he's a better fighter. Yeah. But Animadium will fix this, apparently. So whatever. Yeah. Makes him fight, stronger. fight, fight. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Fight, fight, fight. Uh, he gets knocked down. He, they break the claws off. It's real painful. Fucking horrifying. Very horrifying. Looking. Hated yeah. that oh, so much. God. But also, it's like, wait, really? Like... That you could just break those things. Well, also That's they'll just fair. heal. They we should grow back. Yeah, yeah instantly. Quick. It should have started, but yeah. for whatever reason. To be fair, we saw that. I think in, I want to say in Days of Future Past, he had the claws, and they just kept breaking on shit. Like yeah. he would, if he came across like steel or whatever, he tried to cut through them. Mm. This wouldn't work. I don't remember. that. Oh, I do uh, remember that actually. Yeah. There's moments before. where he like they make a joke okay. out of it, where okay. he like looks at me, he's like, "What the fuck?" Oh, and his he's claws, not used to his him. claws are just shitty. The rest of the, oh, the movie. Oh yeah, so sounds familiar. They aren't as strong as the steel stuff. But yeah, they break him. He gets the shit kicked out of him. They drop logs on him and shit. I'm like, fuck, man. And this is where it really comes down to like. Man, there's a lot of shitty ways to be Wolverine. Yeah. Where this one, it kill you, but now you're just pinned till somebody just lifts a wall. Pinned. And it, like that's the thing is like I understand comic books and stuff, but like Wolverine, like what could, could he drown? Or is he if someone just put him in water, is he just going to be there forever, constantly like waking up and drowning again? No, I think he could drown. I don't think his no, no. I think I don't think his is. lungs would be able to. But I when he got he pulled out, his lungs would heal. Yeah, right? I think that's how it happens. But like, what happens? That's the big question: is like, cut his head off? I'm like, would that work, or does he just grow a new head? He well, that's the thing about work. Deadpool: yeah. he grows back stuff all the time. Where like, that's a cool explanation of it. But yeah, do, does his head have to be reconnect to his body? No. The logs fall on him though. I was like, that motherfucker that's sucks. fucked up yeah. now, man. But, but then again, Sabretooth 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 walks over, immediately pulls him off. Up, yeah. But like, yeah, <laughs> just like the conveniently, just the one log just moved in. <laughs> Wolverine's just there, and like. I know it's a fucking PG-13 movie, but it's just like, he'd look a little more squished. Yeah. He doesn't have adamantium, right? He's really just a big log. <laughs> yeah. He'd be like a flattened frog. He'd be frog. so squished. The Sabretooth beats the shit out of him. Just leaves him. Is that what happens? Yeah. Yeah, on a train track. <laughs> and no, he's like, he throws listen. him at the truck. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's right. right. The truck hits him. He okay. throws him into traffic. And then traffic. he's in the uh, hospital. Oh, right. He's in the hospital. Where he's oh, like, oh man, multiple stab wounds. He's not stabbed at all. I jumps a bomb over him. And then guess who's there, everybody? William F. Stryker. Mm-hmm. Would have known. <laughs> the only way you're going to... I didn't know. You told me Bobby knew it was him. I didn't know it was him for sure. Now we know it's him for sure. The only way you can beat him is if you give in and become the animal. Let me put this metal right. all over you, man. We, You know, when you walked away, I stayed, and I found more of that fucking meteorite shit, and we're going to fucking put it inside of you. And Logan's was like, I guess so. I got nothing else, man. But be careful, bub. Whatever you let out is going to come out, man. I'm coming out. You know what I mean? He's like, ah. <laughs> so I, lo- I love this. No, 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 let's let's put aside out. the fact that Stryker just... Conveniently keeps showing up like five minutes after yeah, Saber after bad things happen. And let's put aside the fact that Wolverine knows this guy is clearly an insidious fucking evil genius who's probably planned this thing. Okay, you, the only way you're going to beat Sabretooth, who's not that powerful of a mutant, is we've got a couple options on the table. One, this crazy experiment that may or may not kill you, in which we're going to infuse your bones with this fucking material that may or may not kill you, but it might make you just a little heavier and stronger. Or two, you go round up the rest of your mutant friends that are still alive and you go fuck this guy up. Those are your two options. Which one do you want to do? Um, which one lets me be naked in a tank for two days? Uh, option B. But that, that wasn't Let's the option presented. That. He didn't realize he was getting played, son. He was getting played. No, but the idea, I understand William they were building a off Striker of... Striker understood what was William going on. William T. Striker Esquire was like, I'm playing you like a goddamn fiddle. I get that, but like, Metal that's game. the only option. You've got a world full of mutants that you know. You got hey, Big Bob and fucking Double down on his Big anger. Bob. You got Big Bob and Nightcrawler, it's and those guys can't just fuck down this on guy his up. Anger, get him out there. He wants revenge. We'll give you the revenge. We need some of your DNA. It wink, just wink. Dumb. We need some of your DNA. Winky, you wink. know what I mean? So he's like, "Yeah, fine. Let's fucking do it." We go up to Alkali, like everyone's favorite Classic. X-Men cool. fucking place. Thank God, I we, missed this, this place. Is the now there's movie, a giant waterfall. The fourth movie. This is the third time we visited. Great, awesome. We're gonna shove you in the thing. We finally got inside. We have these annoying generals and shit there that are assholes, all this other crap. Great. At some point, Stryker kills the other general. Well, I forget when. That's doesn't later. Matter. That's doesn't way matter. later. Who the way fuck later. Who doesn't cares? Matter. Who the hell gives a shit? Really doesn't matter. Kills that guy. Uh, we put Wolverine in there. We get some good acting from the assistant nurse or whatever oh, she I is. Oh, I love that scene, though. That well, is she's just scene. like, whatever's motivating you to do this, hold that when you go through. This is going to be the worst thing. And he's, he's like, I've like, had worse. I've had, and he's no, like, you no, haven't. you have not. You haven't. And we're gonna drill into your fucking face. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, and we go squirt into liquid your bones into you. And squirt hot liquid into you. 
There's no no pain worse than hot liquid being squirted into you, Andy. Fuck Ask yeah. around. <laughs> You're uh, telling me. So they do it. They do the injections. They put the animanium in there. Boop boop boop, and it's going in and shit. And he's like, Rawr, and like, why is he? And he still feels pain. We couldn't give him anesthetic. It wouldn't work. But he still feels the pain. And we see all the things of it going into him. His heart rate's going fucking bonkers. Bananas over there. Nobody understands. It's like fucking popping up and doing question marks. People are like, oh my god, I've never seen this before. And they're like, well, let me tell you about the Vietnam War and LBJ. <laughs> <laughs> He flatlines, Tim. The procedure's mm-hmm. over. He flatlines. Like, oh, my God, it was a failure. Then it's very faint. Comes back. Oh, my God, it's a success. It was true. Only him can do it. And so what he does <laughs> now is strike her. What he yeah. does now is strike her. As he goes, you know what? All right, what we fucking did now? it. Fucking put one in his skull. It's a racist goddamn memory. Fuck this kid. We don't need him anymore. We can just do whatever we want. Move on to X11. Or what? No, X1. The 11. We're going to 11. He was weapon X for 10, meaning that we've done nine of these fucks. Now we're going to make an 11th. Uh, again, what's Wolverine's mutant factory thing? It's the healing, but also his scent, also his smell, mm-hmm. and also the way he breathes in things through his nostrils, but then also hearing. And so from underwater, yeah. <laughs> underwater, not having any kind of hearing apparatus in his ear, he hears through the water, through the tank, a good... I don't know. Into 20 the feet, control room, which feet. is like yeah. surrounded by probably bulletproof Maybe more glass. More than that, even. It's up, too. He hears him say that, and he's like, not on my watch, bub. And he starts, and they're like, what's he doing? He's like, he's powering up. What's going on? I don't know. And like, he's fucking breaking the needles off in his face. Very painful looking. Very not cool. And he jumps up, and we get that scene. Fucking great awesome. scene. Awesome. Yeah, Best totally. shot of the whole movie. Hell yeah, it was. Iconic shot at this point. Sadly, came from this movie. Mm-hmm. Sadly. And he does a rah, and they shoot him, like you said, in the head a couple times. And they just ping pong. They just ping pong ping right pong off. Right nothing happens. Yeah, yeah, immediately so heals. Exactly. Up. Again, not like in X2. Uh, just like in X2. No, not because he would have been knocked exactly out. Exactly. No, no, it wasn't. Because when it happened in X2, remember, it, it went. It didn't go in. It crushed right here. And when he fell down, it was just sitting there. And then it falls down. As a full bullet, it, it falls looked out, like Kev. a it doesn't mole. fall out it like, like a little. It, no, it, it falls out like a little crush thing. Joey, I'm gonna need you to take my business card off my desk and rent X2 on Amazon. <laughs> we gotta look into this. I'm Hold on, I have one. it. Well, it's, it's something we can. Well, okay, we can figure it out. While he's doing that, no, it's fine. I'll keep. keep I'm gonna keep going. I'm keep going. And so Wolverine's mad. He gets up. He's the Wolverines get mad every night, right? Yeah. So. So he's like, lock it down, and he runs away. He just runs away, gets Making out, yeah, he jumps out thing. Again, totally fucking up everything from the past X-Men, X2, where we went and there was awesome claw marks in there. Yeah, like, oh, they don't fuck, care. he killed everybody. It was a way, X2's, Brian Singer's, like, projected, like, what do you think happened here is way more accurate way to what we, we knew this of is, what But this is one of those instances, too, where you're like, why would you run away? You are clearly impervious to all these people's bullets. They don't know He's how to confused. stop you. Why don't you just kill everything you see? And well, Stryker, once you see him, go up there and kill his ass. Here's too. my thing. Because you know he wants to kill you now. Now you know he wants to kill you. Here's my thing. Honestly, my reaction there for getting out was the fear of being locked in. Because I, I would still be dealing with... If I'm Wolverine, whenever we have these hypotheticals of being immortal mm-hmm. or shit like that, when they're presented with the option of cool you can rot in this cell or come be on the special team right you go be on the special of team. of course because i can totally see how yeah even though i have these cool powers i'm eventually gonna be locked up if i if i let yeah. that happen mm-hmm. so here he is cage right my first reaction totally i would have been on the same page of lock it down fuck this i'm out of here and i'll worry about you i get that later. too and he's supposed to have the berserker mode where he goes into that rage mode berserker and can't rage. really think and he just wants to fucking kill and go whatever yeah. i get it berserker barrage. it's just one of those things where you're like well he striker's in the next room on your way out Kill that motherfucker, and he has multiple instances, like ways. He has multiple chances to kill Striker, and just doesn't do it. Later in the movie, he's like, "Fuck you guys," and just walks away again. You're like, "What the fuck? Kill these fucking people!" So he runs out and jumps off of a waterfall in a place Another that we've terrible, seen terrible three effect. movies. Yeah, yeah, never seen this waterfall. Never seen this cliff. Never seen any about <laughs> fucking it. Very you saw weird. a lake. Although I will say, shout out to a dope shot of him doing the X. To bust out yeah. of the place. It doesn't make any oh, sense, yeah, by cool. the that's way. Cool. That's not how metal works. No. Because he cut an X. And then it just knocks out a perfect push, triangle. There's nothing in the bottom that he didn't cut the bottom at all. Whatever, I, I didn't matter. like that because it was just kind of inconvenient for him to walk through that little bottom part. Like, like he yeah. does the X and he's like, Doo, let me scoot under this <laughs> thing real quick. I'm okay. naked. He's pushing it out. All right, we're watching it right now. We're right, broadcasting live. Can you, you can skip. Can you do the? Do you have the ten seconds? Skip no. ahead in this. No, we are broadcasting. Then I'll keep going. Live. We'll get back to yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, he falls down the waterfall. Oh my god, he got out. Guess what, everybody? Down at the end of the the lake is a fucking farmhouse. We got this nice old couple. They mm-hmm. kind of drive up. Very uh, Superman, Jonathan, Martha Kent. Old couple. To, to names Heather and James. They're the names of superheroes Guardian and Vindicator, members of Canadian super team Alpha Flight. Oh, nice. These characters we see in the film are actually the older versions of Guardian and Vindicator. Believe it. No. Or not. 
I don't Why believe I it or not. not. I choose yeah. not to. I definitely Load of shit not right to. there. Indicators are dope. Um, so then, you know, hey, you fucking vindicator, there's a naked man in the barn. He's like, I know, wild face, whatever Tim just said. <laughs> Guardian. And, and, I'm sorry, bun? Guardian. Oh, Guardian. Wild face. That doesn't sound anything like bun. Or say, wild these face. people, these fucking nice Canadians deserve to die. Exactly. They see no, a they naked dude nice running across the field into the barn and they think, well, let's help this poor Hey, he's soul. got a shotgun. You he's see got naked a shotgun. You, drive in and you don't invite him for dinner? He's no, got a shotgun. I, mean, I, I don't invite him for dinner. I bought myself for his dinner, if you know what I mean. I can't imagine the anxiety that he ran into watching Wolverine walk into the house thinking like, it's the same feeling I I have when I walk into a room and I see a cockroach. I'm like, fuck, man, this is going to be a long night. I have to find this fucking thing. Here we go. This is going to be an ordeal, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. see the squish. Bullet is you in there. you see the crush bullet? The bullet? Bullet is it's in there. It's not like flat. Okay. But I'm not is, saying you're wrong. I'm not okay. saying you're wrong. I'm not saying you're wrong. It's this thing. It got squished when it hit his head. Didn't go in. Here's what I want everyone to Didn't know. Didn't go in. Here's what I want everyone to know right now. What do you want us to know, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of things <laughs> Alex has left in the XCU. <laughs> the fact that one bullet knocked Wolverine out is not one of them. At one what point. a fucking stupid scene in X2. I always thought he got it went in his head. Just so you know, like that would knock you out. I mean, the force behind that would jiggle your head, and that's but all it, you need. A little jiggle, Wolverine. and you've been knocked but out. He that's got what shot it works. four times in the head in this movie. And well, whatever. it was different. You know, the, the, he was in rage. <laughs> it was hot. Oh shit, <laughs> man, that hot. makes it worse. so less cool. <laughs> yeah, I thought for sure he got shot in the fucking no, brain. no, no it, it, it caught it. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Well, that's a weird thing. Uh, I mean, fuck it. I'll talk about this here. He gets shot in the head here twice, right? And those bullets never come out. There's no exit wound. Yeah, and they no, never get pushed up. Once. Yeah, towards the end, they're just floating they just in his fucking, fucking skull. Well, that's yeah. why probably why he died. That's what gave him the adamant poisoning oh, in his brain. Oh, you think so? No, no, I think it's it just all his body. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, there's a fucking old couple in this boring movie. <laughs> Don't worry about Real it. Real nice people. They walk in there. Hey, you're naked. Are you on the fucking drugs? No. Well, we have a son who wears the exact same clothes as you. Come on inside. All right, we go inside. They give him the clothes, he tries on his claws, he cuts up the sink, the sink falls. Would have been a really funny scene if you weren't like, holy shit, what fan film is this that they used this CGI for this? Yeah. So, so horrible. The, some of the worst CGI I've ever seen in a real movie, back then, even to today. I was just like, I was, I, I was like watching this with Jen last night, and I remember watching this in theaters and being like, what the fuck? I looked what? close in on his hand, and you can see where... The first blade that's in between uh, the middle finger and the your index finger, there was just like it was shifting, like the tracking wasn't good. And as he moved it, you would see it like kind of wander around, it just looked horrible. Terrible. Dude. Uh, I can't confirm. The jackets seem like the se for the same one in X two. Yeah. Looking into X one now. Thank you. Kevin. Thank you very much, Kev. I will say, just jumping around this part, Greg. I feel like like oh, let's go to the old cabin with the old people. Well, great, let's slow this movie to a fucking snail's pace. But then, so quickly, just kill them. Yeah. Oh my god. And I'm like, oh, that I guess this isn't slow. I guess shocking. we're moving right on. <laughs> I forgot about that. Because it's, it's the wife that dies first. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking nuts. Yeah. yeah. Did you know their son, their son is Vulture. <laughs> Vulture? No, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. Vulture Morph, yeah. I didn't know that. So yeah, they eat some food. They talk about motorcycles. Turns out everybody loves motorcycles. Funny line in there, you know. When uh, Logan's like, oh, "I got that one right off the line," he's like, "I get a little young for that son." He's like, "Uh huh." Yeah. He's you know, he's he's old as shit, man. We needed an origin story of Wolverine liking motorcycles. <laughs> exactly. Same exactly. same jacket as X One. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Good no work. Problem. No kind problem. Funny. Com slash you're wrong. Kevin Coelho. Kevin Coelho. Again. Wolverine getting shot and stabbed all the time. Hard to believe this jacket held yeah, on. Yeah, made it cool. so yeah. long. <laughs> and I, I remember thinking this while it was happening, and then, no, he takes it off. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. He takes it off before the final battle. I was like, mm, well, and well, then at some point he goes and picks it up. Nick, what are we eating today? Oh, we have some uh, ground turkey, avocado, and Brussels sprouts. Great. 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 Looks really good. Great. Looks really good. Olive oil. Let's salt and pepper. Great, 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 great. Let's see. Oh, so, yeah, the old people get blown away. It's zero. Oh, my God. With a fucking horrible track shot. Like the shot where it like, goes from the bullet all the way across the heel, the yields to the sniper i'm like what the hell this Again, looks like a cutscene in a video game why kill the old people what what is the point of that they're they don't bad. know what the hell is going evil. on they were got you gotta zero, teach logan evil. a lesson man you can't get away from us i just want to show you how ruthless evil. these guys are uh, we're evil I'm like, well, they, well they killed him they blamed wolverine is that what they did yeah yeah, yeah. he's like oh i got eyes on him and he killed two people oh, two so they guys. were like hey wolverine i don't know who he's of rage. yeah who's it like yeah, who gives a, who's fucking listening, right? He kills both. Well, I guess there was well, like at the, that point the the government was still tracking working all with. Oh, that's right. right. Yeah. So in like a Weapon fit, X. in a fit of rage, Wolverine killed these two people and then blew the barn up, 
with a missile that he got from where? It's dumb. Because the fucking helicopter no, 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 shot no, no, a missile. No, 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 no. They, Wolverine, their story is Wolverine killed them, so they blew up trying to blow him up. Got it, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, we got they shoot weapon missile the in barn. There. He comes out in the motorcycle. OMG, he's got a motorcycle. Zero yells, ah, pick me up. They bring it over there, and again, Zero's mutant power Fucking of being great with hop. guns and being great at hopping. Hops into the thing. Uh, they're chasing Logan. They're shooting after Logan. He does the thing where he's, he needs to do a hairpin turn, drags his claws, ding, comes back at him. Oh, my God. Jumps off. Oh, my God. Into the thing. Oh, my God. It cuts off the blades of the copter. The copter comes down. The pilot's killed. But Zero, some, Zero's some point, crushed. Something like, explodes, jump right? into the helicopter, and it goes from one of the coolest scenes in the movie of the shot of him going at the helicopter into one of the worst scenes of him holding on to it as it goes down that they used in every trailer for some reason, even though it looks fucking horrible. This entire scene is so cool. So fucking cool. Wolverine, motorcycle versus helicopter versus fucking armored cars. I'm in. If the MCU had done this scene, it would be so good. But yet here we get this fucking really awkwardly edited, really awkwardly cut fucking just situation of them going with the worst CG I've ever seen. God damn these fucking movies. And Zero's getting called from Striker. Did you kill him? Did you kill him? I'm going to keep saying this. Did you kill him? Did you kill him? Did you kill him? Wolverine walks over and get, grabs the thing. I ain't dead, bub, and I'm going to kill you one day. And Zero oh. says some stupid shit, and like he talks some garbage. And Wolverine walks off, and then, ding, uses his thing on a rock, his claw on a rock that he just knew he couldn't make happen. You know, I guess he did this earlier and saw sparks. Whatever. Does it, lights the gasoline. Unclear scene, honestly. Like him fucking like doing the thing and the thing blowing up. It was like, I understood what happened, but. He didn't show me well enough. They did not show well enough. You kind of see the shit like pouring out. But it's like they sh they they put an emphasis on that earlier. I don't when, know when it crashed. There was a like, look, there's gas. Uh, you, I, you didn't, I didn't. I didn't notice that. that. Oh, yeah. You needed to see that puddle of gas going exactly. towards something. You needed that shot. That thing was weird, but we get why he did it. Yep. But then he walks away and in the most Academy Award winning CG yeah. blows up behind him. His hair kind of moves a little bit. It's great. <laughs> really, really married those two together. They had a guy said. behind him just like in a green suit going. <laughs> and you just feel. <laughs> Like a strand. <laughs> Zero <laughs> is dead. The helicopter is dead. We need more answers. So let's go find Will. I am. He happens to be in Las Vegas, where he's running something. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's something. got a little boxing. He's got thing. something. He's, he's got a gym. He's at a, a gym, gym, but he's upstairs in a. Like he, a he's running it the boxing looks like gym. Like a casino, but it's no. He's up. To, he's doing well for himself. Is there a Will? I am. I am Groot. Some like mashup. You Does keep working exist? on it. You let us know. I'm gonna think about it. All right, thanks. Think about it. Uh, he gets up there. He left shortly after Logan because again, damn man, nobody could keep fucking saber tooth in control. We call him Victor. All right, cool. Well, we, I need more answers. Where nobody fucking knows except the guy I train all the time. But that's weird that he knows anything about any of this stuff. So let's go talk to the dude. I forget the dude's name, but he's the blob. Spoilers. We go down Fred. there. Fred's fat now. He's the blob. Right. Oh my god, Frank? he's so fat. He's got an ass coming out of his uh, his tank top. Oh, we're gonna get him. Oh no, but. So like, okay, cool. If you want an answer, you gotta fight him. Like, what fucking video game is this? What fucking video game is this right now? <laughs> I will say this though. I like that line where he's like, I remember when that girl was about 80 pounds lighter. That was funny. Tattoo funny. And his arm got fat. Yeah. That and, was and literally two seconds after he's like, Don't tell any fat jokes. <laughs> you make fun of me, Logan. No, Bub. Did you call me what is it? Blob. Blob. I like that actor's name. name. Like, yeah, I, why'd you call him Blob? Like, I didn't call this him Blob. The so closest dumb. we've gotten to the Catwoman basketball scene. In terms of just like, <laughs> let's have these people do these things just to put it on screen. And it is one of the worst scenes in all of these superhero movies. They punch and they punch and they and they want around and punch some more. Whatever. And it's just like, cool. that. And then finally, Logan headbutts him and it's like, oh, that hurt. Oh, right. I'm fucking made of metal. Yeah, even though I think my metal hands would hurt when I'm punching you and things. Whatever. But like, why does it doesn't matter? It's doesn't so matter. Dumb. He knocks him down, and he finally brings out the claws. What is what's going on? Where's the island? How do you know about the island? I'm fat guy. Blah, 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 blah. It turns out that Remy LeBeau, this motherfucker, he's escaped. They called him Gambit because they always played cards with him. All right, cool, whatever. That sounds fun. Let's go to New Orleans and find Bring out the about hype. This. Let's get one of the most Fuck, yeah. desired X Men into this movie. Let's Fucking see how they can so ruin this. They can't ruin this. So we get so to New Orleans. And we go to the club that he's playing cards at. And there he is with a weird cane and a bunch of cards. And he sits down. And Wolverine just wants to have a conversation with him. Just wants to have a conversation with him. But Remy, he ain't having it. He hears some of the stuff. And he knows these are code words. He was a locked up mutant once. He doesn't want any part of this. So he's like, oh, well, not, 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 no, thank you, Mon Sherry. And he fucking takes the cards and he, boom, and he hits them in the chest. And they blow through the door. And then on well, the meanwhile, Will I Am was out there fighting the fucking saber tooth. 
And uh, he was bad at it. Well, I am really no, bad at no real redeemable powers. No, as I mean, he I'm gonna fuck you around. up. And he's like, nah, no, no, you're not. I'm gonna. But I did. I did appreciate when Saber Two was like, the one thing about you, you're predictable. You're predictable. That's cool. And then we get a fucking awesome Mortal Kombat fatality X-ray vision thing that where was like awesome. he's grabbing his spine and fucking snaps it. Funny, I didn't think you had one. Yeah, that's good. Good. No, that's that's good. good. I'm about telling that. you, Leo Schreiber, do it. The hidden gem of this movie. Meanwhile, yeah, though we were blown, we blow Logan through the wall with all our cards and shit. Oh my god, it's right. Gambit. Gambit's doing stuff. Do you do you not like Gambit? I love Gambit. No, in this movie, I hate. Gambit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I hate it. Hold on, hold on. Gambit pops up behind Wolverine. Wolverine gives him the fist. He's knocked, knocked out. Him out. A minute later, he's running, running on, on a roof. roof. <laughs> Why? How? No, no, no. That's not, Jumping that's into not the, the same most spot they were already in. Yeah. That's, that's not the most egregious thing. The most egregious thing is he goes, he's clearly views Wolverine as a foe, right? So Wolverine, aside from doing nothing to provoke this reaction from him, not only does he, like, he knocks him out, sure, okay, but, that was, but he turns his back to him and then starts fighting this guy that Gambit clearly knows is not a good guy either, right? So these two guys are fighting each other, and Gambit's like, you know what I should do? Stick around a little bit, and then try to fuck both these guys up. Especially because I know, yeah, Sabretooth's a bad guy. Who I know Sabretooth's a bad guy. I know this. I recognize that this guy that I thought was a bad guy is now trying to kill this other guy and is owning his fucking ass with his newfound ass. Because yeah, that's all it was. It wasn't the fact of like skill of fighting. He's just heavy in metal. He's now. just heavier now. It moves a little slower, but it can't be hit. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna climb this building. And I'm just gonna fucking <laughs> thunderdome down on these guys but for like, no I, reason. I want to know how so far stupid. back he went Why? in order to make Four that blocks down to come. He needed the that's, entrance, man. No, th that's like the worst thing I've ever seen. Like in terms of like continuity yeah. and like, what's the point of it? It's just so terrible, dude. Because they had to show him use his stupid stick. Oh, it wasn't a stupid stick anywhere else. You know what I mean? This <laughs> mo movie made it a stupid stick. So that, yeah, and that point. sucks. And Wolverine does that stupid, the worst thing, where the guy's like, he's climbing up on the thing. And Wolverine's oh like, my god! I'm gonna just shred this. Oh my five god! Minutes, five minutes long. That looks so bad oh, no. too. Knocks him out. and He's like, like Listen, a fucking bud, Roadrunner cartoon. I'm not trying to yeah. hurt you. Instead of you and I going down to hunt Sabretooth right now, because I can use my smell power. To you track got a him, plane? You got to tell me <laughs> what the island is and take me there. Because obviously this island's in a place that no one's ever heard of because it's an island, right? I'm thinking offshore someplace. No, Three Mile Island. Yep. One of the most historic sites known to the, to, to the United States, right? Sirens, well, sirens are on. Sorry. sorry. We should have done that earlier. He could have just been like, yo, okay, cool. It's Three Mile Island. So you're thinking to yourself, oh, wow, these guys are fucking teaming up. It's time for a team up. Maybe, just maybe, Gambit's going to play a really crucial role in the third act of this movie. And what does he do? Drops nothing. Him off. Drops he him drops off. He does off. literally nothing. He saves the kids. Real quick, my, here's my thing with you're like, it's one of the most identifiable islands. Obviously, for us now, my takeaway was that they caused the yes. incident three mile island. I would right? think so. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I was just saying, if you just say, hey, man, where's the, where, where's the Vegas? You're like, well, it was Las Vegas. You'd be like, oh, okay. even if you've never been to Las Vegas, you'd be like, oh, I guess I'll just ask people how to get there. You don't need a guide. To mm. that place. That's sure. all I'm saying. You would know where it was. Uh, no, but here's the thing. Like well, he's he Canadian. Didn't, he, he didn't need Gambit. He didn't need Gambit for his powers. He didn't need any of that. He's just like, I heard you have a plane. That'd be really fucking cool. Rumor is that you have access to a plane somehow. Because you won it he in won a it. bet. He won it. See what it's making sense. He's been riding his motorcycle everywhere. He rode from Canada Can't ride to an island. Yeah. To Vegas. To but, but the island did have like a Can't bridge ride to, an island. to it. Okay. Okay. Spangle. I guess that's, that's right. <laughs> so we're going to Three Mile Island, everybody. Guess what? Wolverine still gets airsick. He's up there. He's all like set. He, I like that joke. Are right? we, are, are I we said that we got a lot stuff? of chemistry between yeah. between uh, Wolverine and then whatever the fuck, Silver Fox. But let me tell you, Wolverine and Remy Laveau, Gambit, it was palpable. Those if two I, wanted dude, to that get shit was fuck on. Remy if, fucking sucked. If I can interrupt one second to have a quick powwow with Nick Scarpino. Mm -hmm. He's saying that, but I'm pretty sure he's just stealing tweets from Gia Harris. Because mm -hmm. I saw Gia Harris tweet that last night, which I really feel like it's not an original. Oh, or Gia from Harris from just, you know, stole what I said and yeah, tweeted that's it. Damn. I don't that's think that's a little that's hussy. True. She's a hussy. Also, uh, okay. I, uh, what's his face? What, what's what's Remy LeBeau's character? Gambit. The actor. The actor. Oh, uh, Gambit. Taylor Kitsch. Taylor Kitsch. Taylor Kitsch. No, not Remember the Titans. Friday Night Lights. Friday Night Lights, yes. So Texas Nick and I were talking about just the all of the yard. all of the uh, the trials and tribulations he's gone through in Hollywood, where he is Gambit in this X-Men movie. Mm. He was John Carter of on Mars. Oh. John Carter of Mars. Oh. Also, good. Battleship. 
He Battleship. Was in Battleship. Okay, and we all could have told you Battleship. He was, was in season out. two of True Detective. This guy just can't catch a fucking he break, dude. Yeah. I feel That's so too bad. For That's him. too bad. Let's start a Kickstarter for him or something. I didn't. I did not hate his gambit. I hated it. I absolutely hate it. I'll tell from you. I will tell you this. Again, how he was fighting again, everything. Again, as uh, oh man, I remember Gambit from the cartoons, and you know a little bit there here and there. He has kinetic energy into the cards that does that. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, the cards make perfect sense. And when the staff got broken and used it to climb a wall, I was like, ah, does that make doesn't sense? Make sense. I don't, okay, doesn't make any sure sense. That, well, no, 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 no. Made no me. sense at he all. Not, he can't control the cards. That's the thing. It's like the, he was that's good not at, a power at, of his. He can power. He can power up objects and throw them, and it has a similar yeah. thing to the concussive force. Of Cyclops, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. So, but he doesn't have a but telekinesis. Not the burning force. He turns Cyclops. potential into <laughs> kinetic energy, I believe. Yeah, boom. Kevin so like raised a great point. While yeah. this was happening, we, we totally ignored the fact that there was a little bit of a side plot of let's go capture Scott Summers, who is at school with sunglasses on. Do they wrap around the sides of his eyes? No, they don't. So should we see the fucking? He doesn't have powers yet. When it starts, in, in the middle of class, he gets the powers. Well, how would they know he had powers then? Why, Why would he be wearing the red sunglasses? How did he know then? to wear the sunglasses? They're not just red sunglasses. He just red liked sunglasses. red sunglasses. No, and the sunglasses need to be when a they come off. They have to be thing. Go, and when they go, the sunglasses have to be no, made it, out of it, ruby it, quartz. Yeah, the, the, yeah. the teacher yes. was like, "Hey, take those off," and he was like, mm, "I have a headache." Yeah, no, I have a headache. Then he goes to the bathroom and gets attacked, and, and then they take them off. Then they come off, and then his eyes. He didn't have powers at that point. I'm sure of it. It's a weird consistency, but Kevin could be right of that no, being the first time. If he didn't time. have powers yet, how would they know to go after him? They no, want, that, they, they, that makes sense. They wanted Maybe his powers. His the family, reason they wanted him was the first time. Havoc is his brother who, in first Days class. of Future Past, first, first class is is ex, does exist. So who knows? Yeah, I don't think it was the first he time must have though. Had powers. But the, what does make sense is how he got his glasses. Because yeah. I was like, oh, if he was at least like training at the school or something, then <laughs> Professor X would have gave it to him. Yeah. Well, but I mean, otherwise, no. how would he fucking know and, if he well, can't see? Well, to your point, then, and to Kevin's point too, then the glasses just don't matter. They could have been black. Yeah, but I think it was to be like, that's who this character is gonna be. I fucking hate that person and who made that decision for this fucking <laughs> sure, script. Then that's absolutely. fucking stupid. Well, yeah. I get having a headache or a migraine. You wear sunglasses. Because like, would a teacher ever Kevin's be like, doing it right now? If if she knew that he had laser vision. Would she be like, no, take no, no, no. Off? I don't you think, think he's lying? I, my, when I'm watching it, not understanding any of it, my thought process was, oh, he has laser vision. He understands the red things block it. He's hiding it that way. Oh, so when she's same. like, take off your sunglasses, like, I need a headache. Yeah, like, that, that's but how like, I would have taken Even then, I would have been like, oh, have it in fucking detention. Still, take off the fucking sunglasses, stony McStoner scene. You know what I mean? <laughs> but they do have to be made of special material. Yeah. So it does not make Which does sense. not make any sense. Whatever. Fuck, fuck that. this movie. Fuck movie that. Quits. Not the movie. Just fuck this. No, part. fuck no. this movie. No, fuck this movie. It's fucking trash. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to jump to my closing no. arguments already? Fuck you. You've all penned me into a corner, and I'll tell you right now this movie is better than X Men The Last Stand, and it's why I'll be voting it's number two overall. All Jesus. right. You all are Calm pieces of shit. We made a bad choice last week, and I'll fucking you. See we're just you gonna all have to burn. live with that bad choice. I'll we can't lie burn. about this movie. This movie's more enjoyable. Anyway, than we, last see, we see Deadpool come in at the end. <laughs> <laughs> so they get much. Scott Summers. They shove him in the fucking hole. Great. Logan That's gets get his ride in the fucking thing. In the hey, you're going to jump out. You're gonna. It's going to hurt. Oh, it's great. He jumps out into the water gets hurt. He makes it to shore. He gets in there. So, and he turns around. And guess what? But over his shoulder, it's the woman we thought was dead. Oh, my God. The woman we thought was dead. There's a, she can control her mutant powers. Yeah, making people feel whatever she wants to feel if she has human touch. All right, great. Whatever. Now, here's insult to injury, right? We've already convinced you that the love of your life is dead. Now, she's not dead. We just we're, ki- we're lying to you the entire time. And she also doesn't love you. <laughs> doesn't love you. But, but does. this doesn't also erase the fact that Stryker does, in fact, still want Wolverine fucking dead. He has now tried twice to kill Wolverine. Once by sending Agent Zero at him, and once by trying to kill him in fucking utero when he was in the water, right? What does Wolverine do yet again? Fuck you, people. I'm just going to walk out. And he fucking <laughs> he walks away. It. And you're like, no, he's in the room. Just go fucking kill him. Ice him. It's done. He's right there. Kill him. And Sabretooth can't believe they let him walk away. He's going to go kill him. And Stryker's like, don't do it. And he runs it and goes and doesn't. He's like, give me the bone powers. Give me the metal yeah, powers. Can't, like, you can't like, die. You, you die. die. You, don't have the, you, don't have the, you don't have the wherewithal. We could take Which the same stuff. Makes no sense because as far as we've seen, Sabretooth's powers are all stronger than Wolverine's in every sense. He heals faster. He's stronger. He's got more Smells claws. Better. Smell power even stronger. He's got teeth, too. Why would teeth. this kill him? Who I knows? think he just didn't want to give him the metal. 
Good call. Great point. Great point. Yeah, yeah. he'd be unstoppable. Yeah. Bloodlust. Uh, all right, fine. We're going to fucking go. They go, and they start fighting, maybe. I forget. Uh, we find out that, yeah, she never uses powers on Wolverine. She does love him. Oh, my God. How cute. Uh, <laughs> hey, fucking, they're fighting. Unleash Deadpool right now. He's uh, The pool. It's all the power is pooled together and dead because it'll kill everybody. All right, whatever. This is the thing that'll eradicate mutants. One mutant that has everybody's powers and is in and no. is controlled has by the, the worst right video game of, power, of all time. But I love. But I love. But by, by the way, before engage before this happens, one he lets Sabretooth go because he's like, look, I know you've been trying to kill me for the last like twenty years, and I could just fucking ice you right now and cut your head off. But I'm gonna let you go. And then the woman's like, look, I really loved you. Um, he's got my sister. We need to oh, save, Diamond Girl. We need to save her. And Frost. Wolverine's like, okay, fine. How do we save her? And the girl literally goes like this. She's in one of those cages. And the camera like pans. And the <laughs> cell of all these mutants is right over there. <laughs> oh, how did I not see that? That's the weirdest fucking we see, thing. We see Young Toad. We see Quicksilver, which mm. doesn't make any fucking make any sense. sense. No sense at all. So there's a, a part where we, the woman, Silver Fox or whatever, grabs Sabretooth somewhere. In here? Yeah, your powers don't work and on your me. Powers are, why? Why don't they work on her? Mutants. Consistency. They worked on Wolverine. No, they didn't. I don't. They she didn't never used them on Wolverine. No. no, she did that one time on the bridge. Calm no, down. that was no, the no, other. She did it to the other guy. She did it to both of them, so they would they would chill out. No, no, no. Just, no. no. Yeah, just, just, just the other. Oh, dude. I thought she was touching. She both grabbed them. him in the arm. She Bring touched him later. If you know what I'm saying, on the butthole. Oh, oh my god, her tongue. <laughs> Jesus, I do like the description of her power. She's like shit. Oh god, see what I mean? Yeah, she made it poopy there. Optic hypnosis is a dope name for her power. So they're all trying to escape, right? Yeah, and so they cut, the, guys. they cut they the, the doors, all out. hell's breaking loose. The fucking kids run out. Uh, uh, Scott's still covered up, which kind of makes sense why he yeah. wouldn't recognize Wolverine later, even though he's been, hey, mm. fucking this dude it, it ran with through with claws that were made of metal and cut everybody's down. Ah, whatever, who the fuck cares? Um, he's hearing voices from what's his Then voice? we start hearing the voices. It's Professor Xavier, yes. The Deus Ex Machina pops up. He, Let's save the day, guys. He keeps turning them around, turning them around. Finally, we oh, walk nice. out into one of the worst CG scenes of all time. Yes, Nick? One of the most powerful mutants on the fucking planet is just chilling in his dope ass helicopter it's while big all this helicopter. other shit is going down. And it looks and horrible. And it doesn't occur to him that maybe I should go in and help all these mutants. Maybe probe every other person there just to see who's Scott, out there. Scott, Scott, can you hear me? Left, come to left, me. Left. Because if I come in there, I'll have to move <laughs> and I could literally control everyone. I can stop time also, in the future. I got feet. I but I got feet. I can walk in and just stop all this from happening. Deadpool still has a brain. Stop him, train him on striker, have him or cut his own head off. He? Or does he? You can control striker and save. It's one of those things where like you understand why in those uh, in the X Men movies, <laughs> you have to take Xavier out of the game because he's way too powerful. At this point, he could have fucking all this. He could have frozen everything. But like everyone, be cool. I'm gonna turn you all your brains. Y'all gonna walk the fuck out of here. It's We're ethics. done. But Dumb. he doesn't. They climb in the helicopter. Hooray, hurrah. Gambit gets run over. It looks like, so oh, bad. And he sees him fly away. He's like, oh, good. Everything's good. The helicopter Everyone's looks safe. horrible, man. Oh, they're safe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then, big you know, helicopter. Wolverine and Sabretooth are still fighting. Uh, they're like, you know, it would be... Oh, no. Actually, Deadpool and, and Wolverine are fighting at this point. Sabretooth is somewhat involved. Yeah, because yeah, they're running out, and they have that scene where they later... Deadpool, Deadpool 2. 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which is fun to see now. Yeah. Uh, and like, all right, whatever. Let's fucking, you know, climb this smokestack or the heating vent or cooling vent. We go up there. Uh, the woman nobody cares about. She's been shot, by the way. She's dying slowly. That's why she put Emma, said, Emma, you go. I'm going to stay behind, which is a weird thing to do. Should have gone. Exactly. Should have gone to first aid. They get up there. They start fighting Deadpool. It's uh, it's Victor and uh, Jimmy, and they're fighting Deadpool up there. Back to back. Why were they climbing? Like, what was the point of like, Who hey, we need knows? to climb up there. And then he just teleports. And they're like, oh. Fuck, this is a waste of our time. Yeah. Yeah. But we yeah. look cool climbing, huh? They didn't know we could teleport, but then what was the strategy there? Like, let's make this way more dangerous for me to fight on this. Like, stay on the fucking ground. <laughs> stay on the ground. Yeah. But you're going to tell me sense. you can MMA fight on the ground or you know, uh, on a smokestack? You're gonna they you know, actually, when they were uh, designing the original Octagon for the UFC, they wanted to put it 80 feet in the fucking air <laughs> just to add an extra element to and it. And it's just a two-foot rim. Yeah, it's just two-foot rims. Around. Let them fight there. Uh, so, yeah, they fight. And it's, oh my god, what a great fight this is going to be. And then they just cut off Deadpool's head. 
as it falls, he does the now, fucking you laser forgot vision. The part where, yeah, it's uh, the laser vision. You see his little Deadpool, the little Deadpool things. Thing. Yeah, oh, his, dom- this movie. his domino mask. Yeah, 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 yeah. fucking no. dumb. It, his laser vision cuts through everything, blows everything up. Again, it's heat vision now. I don't care what you say yeah. about no, X2. No, it was heat vision because it heated up his blades, yep. which made it able, him able to cut off the head. But to be yeah. fair, mm-hmm. it could have just been the kinetic energy from the pushing, and he was like stopping it that heated up. The no, blades, no, right? because when he did it, it when he did another place, when Scott was chasing, yeah, there was burn marks there. So don't fucking come at me with your Fucking head red spinning dimension down. garbage spins like perfectly. I like that though. Like so ten many times. times to cut the thing. All right, whatever. It collapses. Everybody just jumps. God, what a terrifying. What a fucking. I man, that one hurts so bad. You think it'd be great, and then you look at no. this. Like, man, this would suck. But like, there's better ways to do things. I like when he. Why dropped, did he though? just jump off of it? Why not? Like, do this on the way down. Yeah. A bit? Yeah, of course. Because they couldn't would. afford it. A and B. It did give us that amazing him dropping like hitting the ground like a sack of fucking potatoes. He's going boom. No bounce. Just fucking right into it. I really hurt my hand. <laughs> we, got you. we got you, baby. So dumb. Uh, did we talk about the Animanian bullets already? We showed we those did eight that. times. No, that well, it hasn't. Well, we, we talked about that earlier. earlier. We talked about that earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so now we're down there. What, how, what do we do with Sabretooth? I don't remember what we do with Sabretooth. Sabretooth is just like, I'll be around, brother. I'll see you. We still want to kill each other, but also, he, he jumps I guess off. I don't uh, anymore. This, this and that solves nothing or whatever, yeah. and he runs away. All right, whatever. I'll kill you later. He does that shit and runs away, always yeah, here and then we get other. down there, and we see the we girl. She's been been shot. Like, yeah, you were the trickster. You were the trickster. No, I still love you. I love you. I love you. I was not the trickster. And then, yeah, uh, while he's, I'm going to carry you to safety. He starts carrying her away. Stryker starts fo- fo- mm-hmm. fo- firing the antimantium mm-hmm. bullets. Sure. Couple shoulder shots. Wolverine turns around, runs off a thing, comes down, and pow, right in the head. Boom. Yeah, exactly. I still don't buy this would erase his memory, but I guess. But no, that makes sense. Imagine it no, scrambled up all his brains real good. But yeah, then they just X2 grow was back. my one yeah. big argument, but you're, uh, you've turned me on to new information today. The hypocalamus. Then, the but let me ask you this question. Here's why I, why I wonder. We didn't see the exit wound. They know they don't exit. Are the no, bullets no, just in his oh, brain? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. This, now this brings me to my next question. You of weren't here, but we were this all discussing that this is what gets him sick in Logan. Well, the, I think we'll get yeah, to the no, I know it's anime. all of it, yeah. But like, you think that Professor X, with all of his amazing ability to like look into people's brains and all that tool and stuff, later in line would look and X-ray him and be like, "Well, they hey, did that." In there's X-1. some adamantium bullets in your brain. We should probably try to get those out for your fucking eyeball sockets first. It's not how Take works. them out and just see what happens. Maybe your brain grows back. Maybe those two centers. Well, were, I mean, again, well, no, by the way, also memory. theoretically, he still has the two bullet holes in there. So maybe in X two when the bullet the bullet that got him nope. went perfectly. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good point, Greg. Back. Didn't work like that. Also, memory doesn't work that way. It's not like a physical. Well, I mean, it's. Wait, well, hold, like on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Science, science, science with Kevin. Kev. The number one podcast on XCU. Uh, memory doesn't point. work that way. Like you know, once well, it's gone, like I'll if you, you were what. to grab mush up the brain. It can't be rebuilt in the same exact way. I don't think we're playing with the same rules, though. You know yeah, what I mean? Because yeah, because his body rebuilds itself. Maybe now it's just that exactly there's a few end. neurons not connected, but when you get the bullet well, yeah, out, they'd like, connect you. Like, oh, that fucking woman I loved. Oh, that's why I like Jean Grey in this weird way. Oh. Science, science, science with Kev. <laughs> you know. <laughs> why does it get an outro music? That was great. That that was great. I like it. I like it. it. I like it. it. He got shot in the head. He don't remember <laughs> anything. He's dead. He don't know that is. Not only shot in the head, falls down. Striker comes up and shoots him again. Yeah, yeah. Up. I like Damn. that. I like that. That's Put a, good a move. fucking adamantium bullet in my brain after watching this goddamn movie. Dude. So he's down. This is the worst one. He comes over to For kill sure. the woman. She grabs him. Long. I should kill you. Yeah. He brings the gun to his face. Should kill you. Just walk into. The, can somebody have some fucking? But that would balls? make me the same as you. Can it's like, someone, get the fuck out. That, I hate that argument Be the right same. now. Tomorrow you. Give me a Green Lantern ring. Trust me, there's a bunch of people I'm throwing into the sun, and I'm not worrying about yeah. it. I'm not yeah. fucking worried That's about like it. That's the champ, Fuck bro. Up. It's the Death Note complex, and what was going on there was straight out of Death Note. Mm. You're fucking gonna walk until your feet bleed. All right, we'll see how that Great. ends. You're gonna, oh, yeah. get, you're gonna get stopped by somebody, and then you're stopped. Years <laughs> and, and your years and years. Feet are gonna hurt yeah, exactly, for three days. Exactly. <laughs> uh, she dies. Wolverine wakes up, still with the brain bullets in him or whatever. Cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Remy LeBeau shows up. We got to go. Who are you, bub? Oh, I'm your friend. Don't you remember anything? We got to go. Let's get out of here. You got to trust me right now. All right. What's my name? Who is she? Logan. Logan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Right, cool. We cool there. <laughs> yeah. Seems like you'd have a lot of answers I'm looking for, but I'll go my own way. I just read, your, the, ta- I read your dog tag. On sees your, your body. Sees the body. Yeah, here's the b- Wolverine <laughs> Logan dog tag. No, I do love that. He's like, I got to go my own way. He's like, wait a minute. What? You Why? want me to just fill you in on what happened the last Aren't you 40 look years for, of your fucking yeah, life? Exactly. For, I can bring you back to Bob. Bob, tell you exactly who you are. <laughs> right? 
Yeah, no, you're 100% correct. Cool. You're talking Fred? about Fred? Fred, that's Fred, his name. Yeah. Whatever, Frank? the blob, yeah. Blob. Uh, sees the body of the woman, don't know who she is, I'm going to go my own way. She's hot, he, he runs away as the cops, and like, again, terrible CG. Just yeah. terrible CG. Oh, yeah, I love it. All the cops are coming from every angle, and he just kind of starts running, kind of. Sideways. Weird. Yeah, and and that's, right. that's where they cut. It looked <laughs> that, yeah. That's Seriously, where they cut to credits. Is, there is no moment that's like, boom, black credits. It's slow Google Earth zoom out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look like GTA 2. Yeah, and then just... Directed what by whoever the fuck your name is. Yeah, right. fucking so then we get come back. Yeah, Striker getting stopped as he can. walks. They film. I'll tell. I'll tell you what. I read on the IMDb page that he did gain thirty pounds right here for this scene, so that he would look more like William Striker in X Two, because he looks way fatter in this one. He's like, on the little, he turns around and they're like, "You're one of a question. Kill him. Let's go." And they put him on the fucking big <laughs> truck. You know, <laughs> nothing. It would have been great then. if like if he walked like a mile and then he got like a little blister and it bled. He's like, oh, that's it. Steps no, up. Then, then, then she's. And keep going. Oh, that's, that's right. And then that's keep right. going. That's fucking right. It was Before supposed to be walked the leather shoes Next were all thing, ripped up. Logan's in Japan. Oh, are you drinking to forget? No, I'm drinking to remember. All right, cool. Mm. Dope line, dope line. That's not how it's alcohol not works. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are you getting your money, too? But whatever. I'm sure you're fighting in the underground oh, rings. Right. And again, the whole LBJ thing. Yeah. Then again, as we said, yeah, the whole, the, the, you get the Deadpool. Shh, no, fucking terrible. Just fucking terrible. Terrible. Fucking terrible. Yeah. A couple cameos we got here for you guys. No Stan Lee. Uh, because Stan Lee he said he would cameo, but uh, he ended up not appearing in the film because he could not intend because he was filming in Australia. Um, and the poker players that, that we see are famous poker players. Cool. What was he filming Daniel in Australia? Daniel Negrano and Phil Helmuth. Oh, Negrano. Yeah. That's Thor. Yeah. Well, he was filming Thor in Australia? I, I just want to see if I could hold the straight face long enough for you to believe me, you Maybe. idiot. Now it's uh, time okay. for Ragu Bagu. Ragu. Ragu. Striker's so bad, uh, he's just dead last. I don't think we need to talk about it. Good. Above those fucks on Thor 2? Below those fucks. Or he's, below. he's dead last, yeah. Agree with him. Cool. Sounds there good. There it is. Hit it. <laughs> just Sabretooth bring him up at all. <laughs> Sabretooth <laughs> brings him down. Quite Again, a bit. I don't think Sabretooth was as bad as you guys are making him out to this. I don't think he was bad either. I thought he I thought he did a good job of being Sabretooth, which if you read in the comics is pretty much a one note villain anyway, but I, I thought they had I mean, a good one. X-Men they did 1, they did chemistry. a great job being Sabretooth. I mean, I want, there are so many things not even, there's things I like about him, but the, the majority of it I just don't like. It's too over the top. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, there's a good movie in here somewhere. No, you know no. what I mean. No, 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 no I don't no, mean no. like with what they shot, but if like yeah. we have we have Hugh Jackman, we have I like the striker actors fine. We got uh, we have Liev Shriver. Le- I call him I say Liev, but I don't know if that's how you say it. We have Mr. Shriver. L I E V. I just know him from, of course, HBO's Hard Knocks. Ray Donovan. Hard He's the VO for Hard Knocks. Oh fuck! Yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh. He's wow. awesome. The sun isn't shining well. In That's Pittsburgh. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is it time to vote? Is that how this works? Yeah. Oh, we did. Is Ragu Bagu done? Yeah, it's dead last. Oh, we yeah. put him dead last. We don't even need to do. We, he doesn't get the. He Worse does, than these fucks. Yeah, he doesn't Dude. even get. He doesn't even get the the ranking of the hey. list. Oh, I'm with that. At least man. they wanted it. That makes a though, lot of sense. Yeah. All right. Well, Joey, can you pull up the ranking, please? Thank you very much. Uh, ranking the X Men Cinematic Universe right now: number one, X two. Number two, X Men: The Last Stand, and number three, X Men: The First One. Where does X Men Origin Origin? I mean, War dead last, right? Last. Again, dead dead because you last. have broken the system, it ranks at number two. Because our problems with X Men: The Last Stand no, were you the action was bad and the characters weren't themselves. You don't fucking and get to complain about the system, motherfucker. I do actually. No, you I don't. I do actually. Thor sir. is better than Incredible Hulk. I do, yeah, sir. Not. You I do, not. sir. Yes, it is. In I, this movie. Uh, Logan is Logan. Wolverine is Wolverine. Is the CG bad? Of course it is. Do, does the Sabretooth section go from hit or miss? Yeah, of course it does. Is Striker not a good villain? Of course he is. <laughs> None of this movie mattered. None Literally movie nothing. Matters. This movie no, 90% not of it happened, makes no sense. And we would have been okay. Here's what actually made every other movie worse. This yeah. did yeah, this made me hate a lot of the people involved. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this is why like prequels have a bad rap. It's movies totally. like this. Yeah, this Rogue this One movie, nailed it. This one fucked it up. Fucked it up. Here's what I, I'll say. I could debate. It no, being better than X Men One. Fuck that! It's it's because last, because the action scenes I think are entertaining. I think there's a lot of cool uses of their powers and stuff like that. But I still I still. You know, if I can check my bullshit at the door for one second, mm-hmm. do it. What literally what's happening here is the same thing that happened with you guys last week, where I had fun with this movie at least, where I was like, oh, that's stupid, that's weird, whatever. But I w- like I still feel like X Men: The Last Stand is like a personal affront to me, of like really like fuck you are on such a great track and fucked all this up. No, I feel that way about this one. 
Where it's yeah. just like this movie just again it keeps it answered questions we didn't want and it fucking fucked everything up. There's not one thing this movie did besides give us Logan, which granted is a big thing. Yeah. That I'm like, oh, this is important to this franchise. Abs. I say last. Dead this last. Is, this is dead last for me. Yeah. This would be last for me as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here you have it. There Number it one. X2. Number two, X-Men The Last Stand. Number three, X-Men. Number four, X-Men Origins Wolverine. I cannot wait for next week. Woo! What is it? First, first class, class, baby. X-Men First Class. I thought it was Wolverine. Is that all right? No, no it's after. Oh, good. Thank God. We need yeah. to go. Actually, I'm excited for you guys to watch the Wolverine. You haven't seen it yet, right? I've never seen it. Same. I, I want to see what your take is on this. Because I think I think a lot of the, the Wolverine was like, they're like, let's just make an action movie. Yeah. Let's not try that hard. Let's not like try stuff. to like stick to the timeline. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I'm excited to see First Class because I've only seen the movie once. And I remember being good, being a little bit heavy in, in like exposition yeah. and shit. Uh, but I, I remember enjoying it. And it Bro. was a semi reboot of this. I bought like the Blu ray. I was like, fuck, I love this movie. Two, right. two words Kevin motherfucking Bacon. Yeah, oh, dude, that's true. As the bad guy, he's a, I, I want to see great. where he ranks on your fucking racket. Yeah. He's going to be great. He's we'll so have to find good. Out. <laughs> Next week, until then. Uh, have an extraordinary day. And don't forget on Patreon.com slash kind of funny for $69. So you can tweet from the rag bag of vids again. I think someone else just did it. Someone else yes. just did it. Yes. Do you want to be the third person to do it? You know, they say about thirds, the fucking Joey, should I just thirds. read it right now? Should I read the person's tweet right now? Because this will go live the day that the video goes do up. Do it. Fucking do okay. it. Don't, Don't be, be a coward. coward. All right, fuck it in a bucket. I still I'm, from you. I I'm pulling that. up Slack right now, so y'all will have to... Oh, I'm sorry, guys. While he's doing that, uh, Andy, could you give me the uh, the final podcast? Uh, wigging out. Is it a wig? I don't know. Wigging out with Scarpino. Uh, no wigs in this one. No wigs. None. Okay, cool. Not one. <laughs> this is the first movie. Ever. Holy shit. Yeah, they we did it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> they finally right, figured out that they could just cut people's hair <laughs> and make it look. <laughs> Not at the screen, dude. <laughs> All right, let me read this tweet. Let me read this tweet. This is from Fake Hoy. Uh, <laughs> fake Hoyer Up. Don't really know how to pronounce it, but he says, <laughs> he says, brunette Taylor Swift in the You Belong With Me music video is better than all of these schmucks. P.S. For $69, I better get a few new followers. I need to feel validated. Thank you, fake Hoyer Up. Appreciate it. Have an extraordinary day. What schmucks, though? Who's it? What? I think everyone. The Ragu Bagu schmucks. Oh.